is not that one. <laughs> How it do this time you know it is, today. Welcome, and welcome back. <laughs> it is a good day for Void Scourge. We have the amazing Quincy joining us uh, as uh, one of the cast members. I'm so incredibly hyped about it and uh, frankly honored. Uh, uh, so much to do, so much to get to. Uh, a couple of announcements first and foremost. You're over here. Hello. Um, the, uh, the Terraform campaign is getting a world template book. Me and Ben Brainerd are putting our heads together and we're cooking. Um, and uh, yeah, we be in it. Um, a couple of other things. Uh, if you enjoy these three weekly campaigns that we have here on the long shot uh, community, um, head over to the YouTube Jake and Pfeffers where you can find the most recent episodes and a backlog of all the previous episodes edited for your consumption. Um, I am Sir Pfeffers, the humble dungeon master of the long shot table. Um, and I am so excited to announce that I will be running a game panel at Gen Con um, through the Crit Awards. Shout out to the Crit Awards and Ivy Game Raider Girl. I am I am, I am honored and touched and I, can, I don't know how to express my thankfulness and I'll, I'll figure it out though. Um, 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 there is a discord if you would like to join our community. I also use it as a uh, as a visual avenue for for the campaign so i don't have to throw things up on the stream and make it all complicated we just put stuff in the discord so you can head over there and find that um then lastly just it, quincy's here oh my gosh let's do a recap <laughs> <laughs> the party has managed to get their hands on some potent magic items these magic items are pieces of the Void Scourge. The Void Scourge is the ship that Nova Wake and Nerium here um, scuttled back when they were pirates, when they were lowly level 15s. Um, and uh, due to Nova's parents being uh, the, the goddess Ma, the god of the ocean and the deep, and his father, um, uh, the father of the Void. Um, Mom was hurt feelings were hurt it was a gift this is void scourge and uh dad didn't like that very much so he took all of the flotsam from the ship and scattered it amongst the universe um and the party is and nova and Nirim are not allowed to go back home uh until they have the ship formed um a bunch of other crazy stuff happened uh there were these shrimp dragonfly like creatures that seem to have prophetic nightmares of a kind and this has thoroughly piqued azalea's interest um and a whole Wonder bunch why. of other stuff and uh we'll be getting into that uh as we go but first and foremost let's hit some introductions let me throw it over to smallbird lex <laughs> hello hello i am smallbird lex she her uh she they pronouns I'm using my own pronouns god what am i misgendering myself you <laughs> you misgendered yourself. How dare you? I, Go to I jail. I'm the worst type of person. <laughs> uh, you can find me at Smallbird Lex and Smallbird Art. I do art. I do TTRPG. I do streaming. Uh, the art over here. You see that? I did that. Hire me to draw you stuff. I'll it's do amazing. It. 10 of 10. Shut do up. recommend it. <laughs> I love you. Uh, and I will popcorn it to fish. Hello. I am Fish Finley. You can find me in all places as Fish Finley. I sing, I draw, I play games. It's a fun time. Um, I'm so excited to be back. It's, oh, this is one of my favorite characters to play. I'm so excited <laughs> to be back. Oh my gosh. Uh, so yeah, uh, can also vouch Lex's art is incredible. 10 out of 10, do recommend. Uh, Quincy. <laughs> Hello, everybody. My name is Quincy. I do content stuff revolving around fantasy and D&D, &D, and I love D&D. &D. I haven't done it in a hot minute, and so it was my privilege and pleasure to be here uh, interrupting the flow of the story as is going on right now uh, <laughs> to introduce my character into the mix. You will meet him rather shortly here soon, hopefully. Uh, but Lottery Faust, um, a bod luck. Uh, I do a bunch of cool stuff uh, offline. I'm working on some books. Work I have a cookbook available uh, at luckygriffin.com um, and other cool things. But we're here to play some D&D. &D, so thank you for joining uh, us tonight. And thank you for having me, Feff. I appreciate it. Uh, and I'll just drop the potato over to Offbeat. What up? My name is Offbeat Outlaw. You can find me on YouTube, TikTok, and Twitch under those exact same names. Offbeat Outlaw, that is. 
Um, for the most part, what I've been mostly doing is playing a lot of Baldur's Gate 3. I've been doing a Baldur's Gate 3 Honor Mode Nuzlocke, so if you want to see what that's like, um, and the, the, the no-cheat strategies that I'm employing, stop suggesting barrels! I swear to God, <laughs> I know they work! <laughs> He's trying to earn it. <laughs> Barrel Mancy's <laughs> cheap. We don't need it. <laughs> Barrel Mancy. Yeah. Um, but that's what I've been mostly doing. I play Nova Wake, uh, Captain of the Void Scourge, as long as that boat still exists. And <laughs> the Son of the Sea and Stars is what he calls himself, and he's got a very high opinion of himself. We'll see more about that later. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, gang. The party recovering from the brutal fight that uh that took place uh with the failed god and the fleet of lithids and all of the craziness has gone on managed to get away with their two new pieces of the void scourge sometime later um after a little bit of just trying to catch your breath uh, the party received a formal invitation by a mythical turtle, a tiny little, a tiny little turtle with, uh, like eight wings on its shell. It's a very strange looking little dude, uh, and three eyes showed up and gave a voice recording of your very own Solitas, AKA the river Lord, who simply said, well, hopefully this finds you well. Well, I am hoping to throw a feast in the soon. If you could be on your way, I would love to have you as mine honored guests. And then the turtle poofed. <laughs> I hope that thing wasn't alive. <laughs> that would be unfortunate. A small uh, uh, platinum coin is left. Uh, where it was um, and you think it might have been in the turtle's mouth um, and it has this beautiful fil filigree of a sorry I think I'm kind of quiet um, a beautiful filigree of um, of uh, uh, the the river lord and the in the forked river that he uh, watches over on the other side is the, an emblem to the circle of Adeline the druid circle that he is uh, affiliated with and um, who watches over closely the various world trees, some of which the party has encountered, as the party might recall. Wizen, Weezy, the shipwright Weezy. druid who uh, is in charge of looking after the uh, astral dreadnought that you have been riding upon, um, got in a little bit of hot water when it got clear when it became clear. Uh, that the party has taken some of the fruits of the world tree and uh, attempted to make their own uh, long rest uh, spells, uh, uh, potions rather. Wizen reappeared uh, after the siege of Delega Sadith, um, where you fought the strange brain abomination y spidery boys. Um, and didn't really make it clear exactly what happened uh, when he was sent back to be reprimanded, but he did reappear um, and uh, has yet to fully enclose exactly how that went down. Um, the party finds themselves with Wizen reappearing in the Feywild. Again, you see this colossal bipedal um, overshadowing the mountain range above with the deer head instead of a human head, the antlers scraping the skies. And uh, what would the party like to present to this keeper of the way as far as gifts go? Coin. The platinum coin. The platinum coin? Yeah. Okay. You, you see the hand flourish and the coin disappears up towards him and is presented before him and he returns it to you <gasps> is it too small have you no need for currency <laughs> wise is like i should have brought honey <laughs> oh, oh, i didn't think honey? this through <laughs> is it um, honey he needs is it, does he want food i don't I'd know he, he he's very abstract in his mind is it like uh, uh, so I'm in bear form. Melly's chilling in cat form on my back. Okay. Melly, who is made of honey. Okay. Um, 
uh, and I'll just I'll like nudge my head um, like towards Wizen, uh, and and Melly's gonna walk along my head to get closer to Wizen as soon as he says honey. Okay. <laughs> okay. He looks a, the the keeper. The brow furrows a little bit in impatience. Miriam offers a crisp high five. <laughs> no, no, but realizing they may die. <laughs> Run rifles through his bag. Why is it also starts rifling through his bags? I can't believe I forgot. Oh no. Uh, I pull out the antimatter rifle I stole. <laughs> okay. The hand flourishes and the antimatter rifle fling uh, 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 floats up to him as he inspects it. And without actually taking a hold of it, you watch as he activates it and it shoots a beam of antimatter uh, across the sky. And he goes. He like sitting down, I can teach you how to use it. I used it just fine. <laughs> it begins orbiting one of his antlers as he <laughs> reaches a hand out and you watch as one of the mountains splits down the middle and your path is open before you. And Wizen goes, come on, let's go, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Wizen, was that the mistake to give him the antimatter rifle? Would I... he use it for evil? Evil? It's the keeper of the grove. Maybe. <laughs> 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 and the party begins to make their way through the Feywild, through this safe pass. Uh, I say safe, uh, <laughs> this safer pass. Uh, as you continue onwards. Azalea, have you ever been to the Feywild? That is Thanks. not something I have thought about, uh, but she has been alive a uh, like a hot minute and has done a lot of things. Okay. That's kind of up to you, I guess. <laughs> uh, let's say this is your first venture into the Feywild. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> and so Wizen and especially Nerium, who was very good at this last time y'all were here, starts vetting you in the rules of the Fae. <laughs> I'm sure, uh, I'm swear sure to I've God. Like, I'm sure I've like read about it and like done an amount of like knowledge gathering about it, but I wouldn't be okay. anywhere near the amount. Nerium's just looking at you head on, like oh. as close as physically possible. Like, <laughs> you give your name to anybody, I swear to God. God, I am not dealing with that twice, Nova. I nearly <laughs> forgot. I nearly forgot. <laughs> you just get a just get a bear grunt back. Just <laughs> yeah, don't give your name. Don't eat the food unless like. There's, when can there's, we eat the food? You can eat the food with the River Lord because he is a he is a well and true ally and will not try to trick you. Uh, don't thank anyone for anything because that can indebt you to them, and you don't want to be indebted to the Fey. They'll ask for some weird shit. No yeah, names. you could be like appreciated, no or no stuff, thank stuff like appreciated is is the thing that, that tends to be said a lot. Like, oh, that's appreciated. Yeah. Someone roll a d100 for me. Fuck. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here, I got 94. 94. That's the one. First one to roll it. Oh, okay. A 94. That usually likes low percentages, so. This is to determine how things have changed a bit. Um, oh. The Feywild, generally, the last time you were here, a lot of green forests, a lot of pink skies, um, and kind of a uh, like a mint green moss all about. The moss seems to be gone. You don't see any of this this creeping moss anywhere that you were accustomed to as you go through this valley. Um, what you do find is that the sky is more of a purplish pink this time instead of just a pure pink. Um, and the clouds are kind of this almost brick color, this deep red uh, as they kind of, there's not a ton of them, but you can see the, the these deep red hues of clouds of, uh, venturing past. And then the stone itself is almost, instead of a dark black gray, is almost more of a midnight blue. The hue shifter went hard today. Yeah. <laughs> Someone went. <"Eek!" laughs> I didn't do it. 
<laughs> Wizzy, explain this natural phenomena to me. What do you mean? Is this what the fae does? It's very different here. Oh, yes, this is quite normal. Um, some people like to draw portents from it, but I've never personally put much stock into the matter. I've never noticed. Uh, some people believe it, it is uh, indicative, indicative of the mood of the fan courts um, at the time, but I also I have never quite found any proof in the matter. Um, but I, I wouldn't say I know too much about it. You know, the fan wild just be wilding sometimes. You know okay. what? The Fey Wild do be wild. They do be wildin! How did your little hearing go, by the way, for the Hanasea incident? He gets a little frozen. You know, the, the smile's still there, but it looks a little forced. Uh, and he he kind of looks distantly. Um, and he goes, well... I don't want to bring the vibes down. <laughs> I just, I, 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 I look. If it, if it, if we have to, if if they want to throw us into trial by combat, we'll happily accept. The Adeline Circle takes their protection of the world trees very seriously, and the astral elves see the astral current as sacred. Those things go hand in hand. There is no tree anywhere in any pain that doesn't have sentience as well. Did we like commit a? Did we commit a, a sacred? Oh no! Is that what you're saying? I did, by allowing it to happen. And then you guys, you know, spilled the beans and I got in trouble. <laughs> well, we saved Not... Solacos's life, and then <laughs> the secret got out by doing so. Not like we tried to cause problems. With it, you don't have to justify your actions to me. I had to justify my actions to them. And I'd, it, it's a bit of a painful memory if it's okay that I not get too into it, but there was a cost. And Okay. And, uh, yes. Um, but rest assured, you are not in any danger from the Adeline Court, as far as I know. The Adeline Circle. Um... Uh, and of course, uh, the River Lord, being also a member of the Adeline Circle, um, went to great lengths to vouch for me. So I find myself a little bit in his debt. That's serious. Well, he is a trusted friend, though. I hope you know you are appreciated, my friend. Oh, and well. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Melly's also gonna kind of like therapy cat, oh, rub up against his leg. <laughs> oh, he's gonna scoop and you I... up and kind of blob you. <laughs> 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 I will do my best not to commit any more sacrilege um, on your stead. If that's if, if then if that's the case, the I'll tree you had already own. been taken by our enemies. And that helped a lot. We did not uh, do the big bad, as it were. Ah. Good to know. I guess we won't be doing that anytime soon. Well, we're not going to get caught doing it. <laughs> 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 he continues onward. Miriam walks Mark. up to side by side with Weezy and puts a hand on her shoulder and she just looks <laughs> him dead in the eyes. Thank you, Weezy. You're welcome, Miriam. She takes a I like back. you guys. You smell <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Do we see our boy yet? Is he partying in the distance? <laughs> uh, coming out of the ravine, and this would actually take a number of days, um, but you don't find yourselves in any particular uh, dangerous incidents. There's a few moments of just genuine awe and shock of beauty of, of at one point you pass I didn't tell you to switch songs you <laughs> silly goose oh I didn't tell you to repeat either that's on me <laughs> um, uh, at one point you find this uh, a lake that uh, out of game you can only describe as full of sherbet um, <laughs> it's 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 like that Italian ice texture um, and like a like a soft lime green um, 
And Wheezy, again, is just completely unplussed uh, by any of this. It's just the norm for him, but it's gorgeous. Um, from there, you can follow one of the forks in the river and you find yourself slowly making your way around uh, this gentle hill that didn't used to be there um, <laughs> and seeing the city of Edigo. Um, that being the, uh, river lord's little, little, little kingdom. Um, he still owes his allegiance to the, uh, the, um, the fey courts. But this is his little, his little, I wouldn't call it a town, I'd call it a small city. Um, and it looks the same. Good. There is a single purplish, um, kind of a mist that seems to seep from the hill and and kind of move about uh the party azalea you you your go-to instinct is that this is invasive uh but then off in the distance deep within the city you hear oh! and then <laughs> bursting out from behind the gate of the uh, of the city, you see a 18 foot barrel built long white beard, uh, many tattoos and violet Santa! eyes. <laughs> as Solatos forward, as Solatos comes running out in his in his uh, his childish like joy, and uh, Nerium, you're running, and the two of you just. Connect, <laughs> and he picks you up. Whoa. Well, well, and he puts I... you down, and he shakes you a little, and he's just like, "This is good tidings. Welcome. What is that?" <laughs> Points at Azalea. So, 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 as this is happening, right? Every subsequent word that you said, seeing as I've never met this man before in my life, uh, was, oh no, big danger, big danger running, big danger running at us. So, <laughs> so Azalea will just like, as as all of this is happening, she's just like grounding herself in the ground uh, and like snarling um, until, until Nerium and him make contact and then she just recedes back into confusion. <laughs> um, but the stuff he sees is still this weird, gnarly, knotted up looking bear thing. Um, and she just looks confused right now. Uh, Solatos, just like, um, this is a... Alright, I'm gonna be entirely truthful here. This is a friend of ours who oh. is a defective from the... No motion seems to come closer. <laughs> They're a defector from the Nightmare Court, okay? So what the... the a... <laughs> open mind, open mind, open eyes. You brought the Kalarak here. Well, she defected. In fact, she had a nasty mark on herself for a long time because of it. <sighs> and as a result, she's been an ally to us, been a friend. We even defeated the Nightmare Lord on Delgar, Delgar Sardeth. Um, she aided in doing so. Um, the final blow here. We heard tales. We felt it from here. <laughs> and he's so, gonna... She's a friend, if a bit agey. Maybe not as jovial as Miriam, as Miriam and I, but, uh... Nice! I look back at, at the gnarled bear. <laughs> Azalea, Azalea is very, very slowly pacing forwards, like, cautiously. But, but, like... It's it's like very much like defensive, but but clearly these two people don't think this person's gonna hurt us, so mm -hmm. it's fine. Uh, <laughs> he like squats down and gives you a good long peer and gives you a good insight check. <laughs> okay, check. do I have to roll anything against it? Nope, it's not a contested roll. It's simply he's getting the vibe. Okay, all right, cool. Then you reveal what vibes. <laughs> he he he. You may also make an insight check, Azalea. Okay, because I'm good at these. <laughs> vibe check, vibe check. First roll ever with this dice set. Nat 20. Oh! Ah! Yeah! Yay! Let's go! Is that the yeah! dice set I got you? Ooh, 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 ooh. Is that the dice set I got you? Yes, please! Ah, the 
curse is it's broken. Already. <laughs> the dice have spoken. So insight. That's a thirty-two. Wow. Okay. Uh, welcome in, Mayworthy. Um, I may be kind of good. <laughs> uh, excellence. Um, oh, thank goodness. Yeah. Uh, you you do feel. Hey, Toria. Good to see you. Um, you do feel a certain. He he. Hmm, how do I say this? <laughs> Solitas is peering into your very soul and finding that you you are you are terrifying deep deep down, <laughs> and uh, and he he reads this he 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 definitely clocks it, and uh, and he stands there and he he kind of goes, mm, well, I would like to know you better, and he extends a hand. <laughs> For your little Remind bear paw. The, the, um, like the ghost of Christmas present from the Muppets Christmas. Come Come in, in, they know me better, better man. man. That's what you are. <laughs> um, she's gonna like just stare at the hand for a second, and then she'll like stand up on her hind legs and stretch into a normal humanoid kind of shape. Okay. Before reaching her hand out to shake his hand. He takes it. And he steps back and goes, All right, well, if Nova and Nirium and Wisen here say that you are to be trusted, sounds like they do, then you shall eat in mine hall and sleep by my fire. Go on, let's go. <laughs> Listen, we've only been vibed wrong once. <laughs> I'm gonna try to make eye contact with Nerium to just be out like, are we? Was this? Are we good? Is this yeah. good? We're, we're we're so good. This this is we this are is, so this is Uncle River Lord. He's he's so good. <laughs> These this is the guy that mm -hmm. essentially hooked the party up with the astral dreadnought uh, that you currently ride. Um, they were the ones that kind of got Nova and Nerium on this quest and, and made it capable to be accomplished, even though it is kind of an unachievable goal. We're trying, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you step into this city in Azalea for the first time. You can see the two rivers um, snaking through this city unobstructed. Beautiful buildings of glass and green um, and and stone that seems to have been sung up out of the out of the earth and woven into with trees and beautiful, just gorgeous city. Um, you don't see a lot of people. Um, you do see uh, a fair amount of people kind of going going back and forth and doing stuff and they look at you and Solotas greets each of them by name and at one point introduces Nerium to a kid uh, and the kid's just like, wow, you're tall <laughs> and wants to like, <laughs> just, just and it fixates on your earrings. Um, <laughs> And uh, and then finally you are brought into the feast hall where it turns out everybody else is. Uh, this is a very busy and loud uh, room. Um, and already the music is kind of going off. You can see drink being poured. Various barrels have been brought up from the stores. Um, and, uh, and, and people are dancing about. And he, he opens the door and goes, They're here! And everyone goes, Ah! and toasts and the party is brought in um you are given a respectful distance people don't like swarm you or anything like that you are treated with honor um and respect and um the party spends some time just feasting uh and you feel the long hard uh tension that has boiled into your very subconscious slowly starting to fade uh, after reassurances for Azalea that the food is safe to eat um, and such. Near him with like a half a turkey leg in her mouth like, huh? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Actors come out and start presenting a play and you have no idea what they're talking about because it's a Feyen court uh, tragedy or something like that and uh, and the, the intricacies and references are just go right over your head, but Wizen seems to be having a great time and getting incredibly intoxicated. <laughs> uh, he, he brings out some mead that he's made for the special occasion, tries it. Um, the fuck is Denmark? 
Why is why are they keep talking about Denmark? Why is why Hamlet? Is, why is Denmark rotten? <laughs> Oh, that gives me flashbacks. Anyway, um, I used to do Roaring Twenty depictions of uh, Shakespeare plays, and it was oh. we had the flappers, we had the we had the dance numbers and stuff like that, the fedoras and the vests. It was great. Ah, yes, classically. When, <laughs> yeah, classic when Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Roaring Twenties. <laughs> I love that though. I love those. So many it was theater a lot of people fun. in one area right now. Just <laughs> I was always Malvolio, the guy with the or- yellow I mean. stockings, and was just the the foil and the fool. Anyway. Oh God, am I outnumbered? Am I the only one who wasn't in theater at all? I'm outnumbered. <laughs> <laughs> I, okay. I, I mean, what's a theater? I, I've never, I've never, I've never, what, what do you like? <laughs> Don't worry, you just need to read all of these plays. <laughs> no. You're a bad funny guy. You're a bad funny guy. Anyways. So, a couple hours in, um, the, the time, the daylight does not shift here. It depends on where you are physically. Uh, you go, uh, forward backward you know sunward if you will nightward um but after after some time has passed and things are getting a little more relaxed and less chaotic uh you see uh the river lord sitting uh with a uh with a plate of food on his belly <laughs> and he's got a pipe in one hand and he's slightly dozing when he suddenly says oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he puts the plate down and uh, reaches a long hand over and like scoots everyone's chairs a little closer. <laughs> and he goes, so, tell me how your journey has been finding the void scourge. Well, Miriam shows her glaive now with the wheel in it. <laughs> it's been, uh, it's been a time been we've been getting progress but every time we find a piece we realize just how many pieces there might be hmm. you know it's like oh we found the wheel there's only one of those but how many planks of wood are we going to have to find you know Indeed. Uh, and at one point the party found a literal splinter <laughs> a literal splinter that was incredibly powerful <laughs> but uh it's it's a bit disheartening so we've been making more progress these past few months than we have ever, but it's only showcasing the gravity of the quest as a whole. In your travels, did you ever meet a people known as the Roa? The party oh, ran yeah. into uh, them in the Shadowfell. They were a traveling troop of people who uh, actually did a tarot reading for Niriam and Nova. Um, a long, long time ago. For half a second, oh, they yeah, we disappeared. Did. Mm. The Shadowfell, you know that section we blew up? Fuck the Shadowfell. <laughs> the Shadow. they, they left, I'm pretty sure. They were clearly mad. Sorry, I left my window open by accident. <laughs> I'm like, are you by a shuttle? <laughs> I think, <laughs> I'm, I'm like, I think a dump a truck's going by. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, we, we left, we, we got a tarot reading from them, um, I don't remember what I got, uh, and then we, we left, and then we, we killed everybody, then we blew up the Shadowfell, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I have recently been expounding, as it were, branching out into other venues of income, as it were, and have recently found myself rather liking these Roa. They're pretty great. They are very wise, and they have a very strong sense of family and community, and most of all, performance. They are very... they know all the stories. I have recently become a patron for men, for a few of them, and I've been talking with some of them, and recently one of them reached out to me about an individual who was looking for some assistance. And I thought of you, and I thought of how the two of you might get along, and um, they should be, hopefully, if they did not pass, they should be arriving soon in exchange for introductions. I had them find a friend of mine, a member of the Adeline Circle that had been wayward. So 
this was a convenient gathering to expand your influence, Silver Lord. One must always make the opportunities to network. <laughs> Azalea is visibly going to be more suspicious. Mm -hmm. ah! <laughs> uh, I give him just like a punch on the arm. Like, it could have just asked your big oaf. <laughs> I needed my Adeline boy back. <laughs> I ah! will not punch what? you this time around because I think I might actually hurt you this time. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Um, she the, <laughs> Maybe. I just leaned in. She wrestled the dragon to the oh ground. God, it's so cool. <laughs> uh, at this time, Lottery Faust. Faust? Sorry. Faust. Faust. I was right the first time. You find yourself with a somewhat. Uh, <laughs> somewhat unwilling friend uh, with you that you have been uh, tasked with bringing back from the prison that you just managed to pull them out of in some hellhole somewhere. Um, you are currently at half hit points. You've only got a few spell slots left. You have two points of exhaustion. Um, Ooh, and I have you... them held in a hold person. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, they have hold person. This is ridiculous. <laughs> up. Let me talk. And it, kicking and you, down the kicking through the door. Solitas, you ever witness, I have your passion. Ah, excellent, <laughs> well timed. Press the digitation, you are clean. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome in, please do come in. This is the guy I was telling you about. Welcome. Solitas, you owe me so much more for the trouble that I just went through. You will not believe the hellhole that this unwilling creature. I think he was never but Look at him. He was still back. The I... entire conversation. And he's just yelling oh, and yelling about you? something about like whips and daggers and like, ooh, the pleasure of pain and everything. And I'm just like, ooh, 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 ooh. He goes he goes from like a I owe you to, to listening to the tirade and eventually becoming kind of bemused. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and he goes, hmm. How about a drink? For starters. A water, lemon, no ice. <laughs> you watch and you see you see an elf like scamper away, <laughs> looking for lemons. <laughs> I like this proper man. He's silly. Every <laughs> passing minute in this place is just a mind trip. Thank you. I'm confused. <laughs> Azalea is confused. <laughs> you should have seen the first part, the first time when it was like yeah. everything was going wrong. <laughs> I, I feel like I feel like around now would be when she would have she would have kind of resummoned Melly uh, in kind of cat form and just kind of directed her to just kind of snoop about. Oh, uh, and so like not, not like snoop like sneak, but like snoop like like just not not be in everyone's face. Kind oh, of just thing, kind like, of, just like just kind under of, the table just kind for of nosing scraps, about whatever. a little bit. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. But in, okay. in the room. She's not, like, leaving to go be sneaky. Okay. Uh, and I feel like in room, <laughs> having seen this person come in with another person who's, <laughs> like, locked in place, uh, I feel like Melly would just kind of just, like, like, this whole spiel is happening and Melly's in the back just kind of, like, sniffing, like, the leg of the person that's stuck. <laughs> like... <laughs> Oh, I wouldn't sniff that right there. You do not know what's on it. Quint Me Melly is it's a little, it's, a, it's, it's basically a glob of honey in cat shape. It's her familiar. Oh. Yeah, it's my familiar. So she's, I, she's I just... wouldn't sniff that sticky thing. You don't want to get whatever's on him in you. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Um, uh, she's uh, going to walk over and sniff your leg now. <laughs> <laughs> Solatos oh. puts a big weighty hand on your shoulder and back <laughs> and goes, come, it is time oh. for me to make good upon my end of the bargain. Oh, you betcha. I need... Okay, who are these people that you're supposed to be introducing me to? Well, first and foremost, he picks up uh, Bofer, who is the dude you're supposed oh. to grab, and you watch as he just puts him in his pocket and the dude disappears. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you kindly. And he takes you and walks you off to the one side. You and... still have that? <laughs> I still have nightmares about that. <laughs> Nova. Nerium. Azalea. I... Allow me to introduce to you one particularly 
Oh, yes. Excellent bard. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lottery Faust. Lottery oh, hello. Faust. Hello. Oh. He looks at all of you, and what you see before you is a moon elf, astral elf, white hair, uh, kind of like slightly light blue, lilac kind of skin tone, um, bright blue eyes, some earrings, uh, and he's 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 a bit short. He's about like maybe five foot. Five foot six. He's a, he's he's a, he's a small boy, um, and he's he's got like neck high kind of cravat kind of going on here Ooh. with wonderful like he's ve he's very put together, very kind of like gold blues and blacks kind of trim. And after the pressed digitation, he has this weird like glow about him, just a little bit. And he is he is floating. You'll notice that he is slightly floating, just so he can kind of like eye level with at least Nerium. So, <laughs> uh, and he kind of looks at all. He's like. Oh, I've heard of you, the pirates without a ship. Ow. And I've You're heard the... of you, Mr. Fancy Pants. <laughs> mm, yes, yes, my, my reputation must precede me. But, Sonatus, your ever wetness, I didn't realize you were telling, you were like throwing me off with a ragavan bench of marauders who have a lemon for a cruiser. Marauders, you. You, 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 you do me wrong. These are some of the most capable individuals in the astral realm. I heard realm. you, Solatos, had to go at the beck and call of one of the unfortunates and points to wise uh, of wise. Uh, at their air aid for a mistake that they were associated with with these individuals. And Something about a genocide. As, as soon as. As soon as Lot pick up the shit. <laughs> as soon as he says the word lemon, I'm instinctively putting my arm on Narium, like on her like shoulder, just and just like <laughs> do not. No, there's no need for this. Come, eat, rest. Not you have hungry. done well. Where did you I end up did. finding him, Bofa? In hell. Oh, oh. <laughs> strapped to a gurney. Spread legged, oh. naked as he was born. Oh, really, Kinky? Good that happens. was more of Bofa than I wished to see. That's more the clothes than that he's currently wearing. <laughs> mm. Oh, he was Bofering all over the place. Oh. <laughs> you hear that, Bofa? You're a disgrace. <laughs> I have your toy back. Well, thank you. And for. I did not realize he made his way all the way to the hells. As thanks, he he uh, takes off an amulet, a, uh, a a necklace, and he hands it to you, freely given, not borrowed or lent. This is the amulet of sustaining health. Um, wondrous what item, do? uncommon, requires attunement. Uh, I'm gonna wave the attunement. Uh, while wearing this amulet, you need to eat and drink only once every seven days. In addition, you have advantage on saving throws against eff effects that would cause you to suffer a level of exhaustion. Ooh. What is it called again? The Amulet of Sustaining Health. It is from the Vault of Magic. I stuck the description in our chat. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Oh, this is lovely. It's not my color, but it's lovely. Thank you for your ever moistness. You are. Of course. You can't just press it. He looks at you and is kind of like, looks you up and down for like the very first time and fully taking you in and like the maybe twice as tall and thrice as large kind of thing. He's like, oh, you are a unit. You are handsome. <laughs> uh, are, you the muscle? You know? are you the captain? You must be the captain. Yes, I am the cast yeah, yeah. that covers Nova's mouth. Yes. <laughs> I love I said I was going to stifle a laugh. <laughs> and he holds his hand out. Lottery Faust at your service, Captain. Uh, your name, privilege, or is that something I must find later? I'm not giving names because of... Just look, Sonova. The tendency for them to get lost here. You guys aren't fair. So let us, what are their names? Well, that's Nerium. Okay. <laughs> that's Nova Wake. He just got his name back. Yeah. <laughs> and like Lockery just like loses it. The, like, two, the two of you, like arm in arm, just <laughs> moron. <laughs> Shit. 
<laughs> oh, that's so funny. Oh, and so, out of revenge, you commit genocide across the astral plane. Oh, amazing. Mm, you should mm, tiptoe around that one, my friend. And <laughs> oh, this, yes. of course, is a new friend of mine, Azalea. I don't think she likes either of us. I don't think she likes anybody. <laughs> hey, that's fair. She that's seems fair. kind of sour. Hey, hey. <laughs> I know she likes me. <laughs> I like the sticky one, though. Well, that comes with this area, so there's that. Okay, it's a plus. It's a plus. Yeah. Uh, Melly, Melly's going to walk up to my leg and then turn into a snake as she slithers up all the way over to my neck. That's <laughs> cute. A so sticky snake. So Lottery Faust, the ever quippy <clears throat> is what we shall call you then. Oh, or do you have oh, a proper it, title? Um, Just Lottery Faust. There's no title. I don't need titles. I just need ah. unemployed. Then. Nope. <laughs> That's so what you mean, the cabin You must be oh. the cabin boy. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Missing the eye and whatnot, of course. Yes. Mm -hmm. Missing an eye, filled with with a black hole from the shit that apparently I scrape. I hear you're here to join the crew. Are you seeking work? I'm seeking a ride, actually, and a, this must be the best road trip that Solitus could have called for me. The very best. If you'll excuse me, I must seat a bofer and deliver mm. him to the circles. Mm. And he, like, lumbers away. <laughs> Everyone's getting out of the way. <laughs> well, all right. Lottery as kind of like picks up an order as it walks by and is like, yes, I am in need of transportation. Solid House said that after I committed whatever favor I did for him is that he would do a favor for me. And he motioned to you all that you would be able to help uh, an elf out in a time of need. How much well, you got? How much you want? Uh, Stop well, looking at his outfit. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> How much can we get out of this guy? <laughs> Nova leans in. This is a this is a ten platinum kind of fella. <laughs> ten? Oh, darling, we're not that cheap here. <laughs> oh, and so you platinum fella. <laughs> so you'll kind of see. You'll kind of motion. He'll come. He'll go to the table. And pick up a uh, uh, one. Obviously, I'm sure all the goblets here look very like over ostentatious for, for the party. And he will go ahead and uh, I will use my level seven spell slot to distort value to Ooh. a level seven capacity. Oh. And he will take it and it like <laughs> looks like a wondrous legendary goblet now. It is like glistening and glowing and it is like, this is just a trinket of the things that I could provide for you. He just tosses it. Re oh. But I'm gonna need that for Chester's drinking bowl, actually. <laughs> Maybe I can use that for the latrines that the guy apparently cleaned. Uh, Melly fetches. <laughs> Melly is immediately like, and, and goes after the goblet and is now in the goblet. <laughs> it is perfectly like, you know, just fill it. Just Cats fill are like, what's up? So, you know. Yeah. <laughs> just see the eyes poking out. Just... <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Dr. Faust the Unemployed. We do actually have a potential thing that you could yield for us. Oh, I'm not unemployed. I'm actually under the employment of my mistress, my lady. And um, I must do her bidding first and foremost. Oh. Of course, you understand. Of course what? I do. Everyone's got, everyone's got their uh, partners. Uh, what is, what's your <laughs> mistress's name? If you don't um, mind. To be disclosed. I feel like such personal uh, matters does need to be explained and over uh, okay. once in the I mean it's just been 10 minutes you must please at least let me have another water first I'd like the answer to that as well well if you must <laughs> this is by you the way chat this even is tell the, me your name first this of all. is the least aggressive <laughs> a new player has ever <laughs> least aside from maybe Azalea <laughs> hey, hey. I feel like I did pretty good yeah. lottery yeah. looks at Azalea pretty kind of just like up and down like you wouldn't even give me your name first. I had to ask Solitas. So why would I give you my patron's name? Something that's very meaningful to me. And I willingly uh, give my name first. 
<laughs> I see. <laughs> no, no, no. Make gotcha no, fish is processing. <laughs> no, no, I just... I saw Lex roll her eyes. I saw Lex roll her eyes and was like, hold on a minute. Uh, yeah, Azalea, Azalea's just gonna just gonna <laughs> blink like slowly twice. Uh and 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 just 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 not say anything. Mm. Oh, we're gonna get along just fine, I'm sure. Uh, well, as head cabin boy, all I can say <laughs> is that if your mistress ever does happen to cause me a problem, I... We have no problems or qualms with incineration, as it is how we get rid of shit, after all. So, uh -oh. if you can promise me it won't be a problem for us, you're welcome aboard. If you promise that that was not a threat to my lady, then we shan't have a problem. Oh, no, oh, no that was a threat to you. <laughs> yeah, it's very direct. <laughs> well, Quincy, oh. it was great having you on the show, man. It was, uh... <laughs> he kind of looks around for Solotos and kind of like tries to catch Solotos's gaze of like, what did you do? You don't <laughs> see him, unfortunately. Azalea is 100% just going to be smirking now. That both Nova and Ariel are like, oh, that's, no, that's a you. <laughs> Either way. We have a no problems, no questions policy aboard the ship. As long as you don't cause us any issues, I don't need to ask any more questions. And is that how we want to be? That's perfectly fine. But if you do cause problems, you get more than questions. Does that sound fair? Yes. Excellent. Welcome aboard as head cabin boy. I'll make sure to put you right beside the medical bay. Um, anything else you want to uh, question? You're gonna put you him know? next to- mm? <laughs> <laughs> And she stops. Just- <laughs> After all, I'm the cabin boy, Nerium. Remember, <laughs> Captain? It's at this point, Azalea. <laughs> Two things happen. One, you sense your, uh, what's his name? Turf? Or Surf? Yeah, I think his in, name is in Surf. Turf? Oh, Interf. In Thank you, Interf. Yeah. Surf uh, and Turf. Interf begins having a particularly vivid nightmare. Uh, far away. You sense it. And then you, yourself, suddenly feel this wave of nausea. Make a wisdom saving throw as the wall and the ground that you are all standing on erodes immediately. Uh Second roll with this dice. <laughs> Say it. Not twenty. Oh my yeah! god! <laughs> Damn, those Good dice Lord. love you. Good oh heavens! God. Not got anything. The thirty-two. The floor. Good lord. Uh, you are. Good lord. You save. Can I? Can I so rebarge that? <gasps> Azalea's roll. <clears throat> Yes, do you not may. fail me. <laughs> I counter spell. Oh, the counter spell, the counter spell. My You've already counter used counter your reaction. <laughs> You've used your reaction spell. for silvery barbs. I have a counter spell attached to a card that oh. I use as an action. That I use as an ability. Oh. Uh, that's, that's still one counter spell on the stack, though, right? Yes. So that, and no, then have, my, have. I, have, I have two with my simulacrum. Your sim's not with you. Why not? Because you didn't that's declare he was coming with. Ooh, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh. that's, that's me rolling again, right? <laughs> yeah, you yeah. roll again. <laughs> that was 11, so 23. 23? 23. Okay, you save. The floor suddenly gives out. I need everyone to make a deck save. Oh, no, a deck save. And the wall facing where you guys came <laughs> from towards the river uh, is like magically peeled away in an instant and you watch as a bunch of people are flung outwards into the open air. Uh, dirty 20. This dirty is your 20. chance to prove that you are better than the other dirty dice. 20. Dirty 20. This is your 20. chance. Do not fail me. Oh, do <laughs> Every not. single time I have rolled a deck save, it has given it has been a two. Faust, I forgot you were floating. <laughs> I forgot you were just like, oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, interesting. 24 15. from Nerium. 
I know, Nova, a little low, I'm sorry. Nova, I got a dirty 20. <laughs> a dirty 20, thank you, and Azalea? 15. 15. It's better than a nat 2, so like, I'm I'm here for it, but. <laughs> All right, uh, Azalea, you, you're, you. <laughs> You are you're having you ha you're stuck in a flashback of your old home and uh, some of the horrors that were there because it feels like those horrors have come a knocking as you then realize you're falling into an abyss. That's where we're gonna go to break. <laughs> we read back chat. Nova is staring daggers at Lottery Faust, just like oh, <laughs> just see another time. And we're back the floor gives out from under you oh you're in the wrong spots <gasps> yeah. how could this happen to Nerium <laughs> what am I now uh, you were me ew <laughs> there you go pull that up okay so, the floor gives out. A lot of people fall, and a lot of people start screaming and running around, and you hear, a, a, like, bells being run as from out from underground, these writhing masses of uh, thorns and teeth. Now that you're looking at it closer, uh, and teeth, like, like, taking the place of scales um, of the strange odd number legged uh, terrifying nightmares become crawling out find find take take let's roll initiative um, nope. Azalea you have just fallen um, and you find yourself uh, just uh, landing at the bottom of a hole. Uh, there has been clawed hands digging through the earth um, below, and you take... You take... I knew I should have been a bear. Ah! <laughs> You take 33 falling damage as oh, non-magical. Uh, is this all that. in their head? Like, is no. This, or is what hap actually happening? No, yeah, this is happening. Okay. This is happening all around you guys. Um, Nova, always ready for a fight. Uh, but you look over and your sim uh, has, has a, a, a mug in one hand and is just... He's just. Oh, yeah, the, <laughs> he's 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 asleep. He's not unconscious. Um, <laughs> but uh, you watch as uh, five, five of these creatures come writhing out from the hole below, uh, and you hear sounds of combat and screaming and screeching. Arcane blasts and magic starts ripping through the sky uh, as the defenses of uh, of Edigo, Um rally and begin uh fighting multiple enemies outdoors as well um uh, you watch solatas come back in and immediately starts looking about and goes you are not welcome here and uh he joins the fight we got initiative yes. let's get it I grabbed the 22, wrong. Not a, that's not AC. Oops. I, I Why did you type AC issue. then? Because yeah, I've buddy. got a small brain. Beth, I rescind, I rescind my joy over these dice. I do. No! <laughs> you know, Dang it! I had joy. I had joy, but the joy's gone. I still um, think the curse is broken. That was two nat 20s out the gate. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, well one of those nat 20s is, is, is uh, it, it's, it's, it's hit the other side of the scale now. So uh, we're at, uh, this is we're average. At, <laughs> oh, so we're back to the norm fish. for Azalea <laughs> and initiative we're rolls. At the end of <laughs> we should have known when it comes to initiative, uh, Quincy, Fish Just is always, me at the end, that's fine. <laughs> always at the, at the bottom of the initiative order. Every time, every time. There's a three total. Oh man. <laughs> Always at the bottom. Wonderful. Uh okay. And there let me know if the music time. is what too I... loud. 
there was only one time that I wasn't the very last, and it was because I was the last of the party, but I was just <laughs> before one of the bad guys, and that was it. <laughs> Nerium oh. with an 18. We've got Lottery with a 15. 22 for Nova. And a three for Azalea. All right. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. It'd be so funny if you somehow rolled like a two. Well, Solitas rolled kind of low. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, mercy. Mercy, mercy! <laughs> okay. So we're doomed. Uh, it was nice knowing all of y'all. Uh, <laughs> it's five guys. It's five guys. Five we're guys, five guys. Five guys, burgers, and fries. Five guys. <laughs> no, I'm hungry. God damn it. I could go for a nice burger. Do we even have five guys up here? We have five guys. Uh, the the currency exchange is a little different, so it's like ah. it's like four and a half guys. <laughs> <laughs> the metric system. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, it goes Nova, Nightmare, Nightmare, Nerium, Solitas, Nightmare, Nightmare, Lottery, Nightmare, Azalea. <laughs> How many nightmare, nightmares? Nightmare, nightmare. Five. Uh, well, six okay. if you. Have, well, anyway, uh, five. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Bye. Nova, can you're you, up can first. You, oh, can you say ahead. the order really quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time? Nova, Nightmare, Nightmare. Nerium, Solitas, Nightmare, Nightmare. Lottery, Nightmare. And Azalea. So five nightmares total? Five nightmares total. Ah, we're good. For now. Text. We're fine. For now! <laughs> um, okay, Nova is going to mental link with a simulacrum. Wake up, you bastard! Dog! <laughs> he immediately, he immediately, like, just yeets the mug. <laughs> you watch as it just arcs gently across the room and breaks against the, uh, <laughs> breaks against the far wall. Um, Nova, at the beginning of your turn, you needed a DC 21 wisdom saving throw. <laughs> oh, 22. <laughs> oh, just made it. You are good to go. Uh, what do you do? Better. These things are are kind of uh almost venom style, kind of crawl have crawled up in various like uh uh limbs that are writhing out and appearing like grab onto the ceiling and the walls and they kind of lift themselves up uh and kind of hold themselves against the wall and the ceiling and the like uh kind of like kind of like carnage or venom. Mm. Which reminds me, see, I have see, a picture. Uh, my apologies to Anne, our fantastic mod. Let's get some love for Anne in the chat. Thank you, Anne. And where, Thank in, you. where in the butt did my phone go? I'll get to that, but it's horrific. <laughs> it's horrific and disgusting. And Thinking rock. back to previous encounters with nightmares, yes, would I be privy to the knowledge that they utilize the charmed condition to control their 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 targets? Uh, I'm doing this again. <laughs> <laughs> um, the charmed condition. They they certainly are getting your head and mess around types. You're not. You've never seen these types before. Um, okay. And Azalea, you've never seen these types before. <laughs> oh, oh <laughs> these no. are these are something new. I don't like that. <laughs> Which don't also like means that? what if what they're if no? young? Okay, oh. they're fresh. Okay. Okay. All right. What do we think, you guys? Damage or support? Where's my phone? Nerium just looks at him. <laughs> look, do you uh, do you want to get mind controlled again? Headbutt. <laughs> That's what I thought. Um, okay, I'm going to use my my bonus actions for me and my simulacrum. We're going to use bl um, Blade Song. We're gonna strike our swords along the ground, and as we do so, the ringing resonates, and our black holes both start to even further. Additionally, I'm going to. Nerium's right beside me, correct? I believe so, yes. I'm going to send my sim over to Nerium, and I'm going to have them cast Mind Blank on Nerium. 
Mind Blank gives the following. Um, it's one action, 24 hours until the spell ends. One willing creature you touch is immune to psychic damage. Any effect that would sense its emotions or read its thoughts, divination spells, and the charmed condition. The spell even foils wish spells and spells or, or effects of similar power used to affect the target's mind or to gain information. Whoa! Nice. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Listen, Miriam's only got a plus four to wisdom, and it has <laughs> fucked her over so bad. Even like rolling nat twenties, <laughs> like a twenty-four has not saved me so many times. That's awesome. Um, and then I'm gonna target one of them, and I'm gonna blast him with a, a sick, nasty disintegrate. I need a dexterity saving throw, please. Dex, uh, that is going to be an 18. Fails! Then I am going to burn a legendary resistance. You got these bitches legendary resistances? <laughs> no! What did you want out of this fight? We're in it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, but just die! And a beam of antimatter shoots from his eye, and it. Oh, motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you fuck mother. Uh, and then that shall... I'll save my action surges for next turn. Pass. Okay. All right. Uh, one is going to uh, writhe forward and uh, try to take a bite out of Solitas. And he's going to fail. Pass <laughs> for Miriam's range at all? Um, no, this is one of the ones that was not nearby. Okay, okay. Um... Seeing that, he is then going to cast Hold Monster. On me? Nope. On okay. on the River Lord. Hey, 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 hey. Hold monster. Hey. Hold monster. Um, I'm I'm going to have my simulacrum burn a counter spell. I gotta roll for it, right? Yes. Okay. Hold monster is a fifth level spell. Eight. Fifth? Okay. 21. I'm rolling well tonight. Okay. <laughs> you say that, and now you're going to roll bad. No, I'm going to roll bad. I'm going to roll bad tomorrow when I'm playing Pathfinder. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. That's going to be that one's turn. The next one is going to writhe up uh, the rest of the wall and pounce upon Nova. Okay. Nova, first I'm going to roll the hit, and then it's going to try to grapple you. Okay. Uh, that's a crit. That's a... That's no. a natural 20. <laughs> I am still rebarbing that. So my no. uh, do you have it? Oh, no. The other one you had used the reaction, so you have your reaction? Yeah. Okay. Yes. No one's within five feet of me, right? Like I'm. No, you're at the on. bottom of you're, okay. you're in the hole. Cool. No, no, just checking. Because I, I do have a reaction that helps when I'm near people, but I'm not near people, so that's very yeah. unhelpful. God, I love having a plus 14 to hit. I've missed okay. Void Scourge. Uh, that is going to be a 28. <laughs> I've missed my uh, <laughs> yeah, that hits. So chat right. has to go in. So, <laughs> to go in so all of the scale like teeth point outwards. Hmm. <laughs> and oh, you you see this almost venom carnage like uh, horrible experience as it latches onto you and the teeth all start digging in and wrapping about you. Um uh, all the teeth, all, yeah, all the teeth kind of come out, and as it as it grapples you, uh, Nova, uh, uh, layers of the flesh folding over yours. You have the horrible sensation of teeth crawling around inside your eye socket, your empty eye socket. Um, and uh, don't you, go in there. That one's a bad one. <laughs> and, you, and you, my friend, um, are. Uh, let me double check. Let me double check. Let me double check. You are paralyzed. <gasps> Paralyzed. Paralyzed. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then now for the damage. <clears throat> oh, 15. You take 15 magical piercing damage. This is almost like a bee sting. <laughs> and now it's going to bite you. <laughs> oh, and now you're dead. <laughs> uh, does a... Two... 23 hit. Miss. Miss. Piss. All right. 
Um, yes. All right. Uh, that's no, that. Is the hardest hit. <laughs> Fuck. All right. Niram, you're up with Solitas on deck. Uh, Quincy, Um, as a recap, one of them jumped onto uh, Nova Wake, kind of Venom style, started started like wrapping about him, and now he's paralyzed. It had teeth on. It's got teeth for scales. Teeth Teeth for scales. scales, It's teeth. (laughs) Where's my phone? I want to send you guys a picture of this horror. 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 (laughs) Alternatively. All right. A venom with extra teeth sounds scary. Why is he so scaly? Is that teeth? <laughs> okay, uh, Nerium. Did we figure out the AC of these guys? Nope. Uh, no, we haven't hit one yet. Did you hit the cool. one that's on me? <laughs> <laughs> sure, well. Actually, wait, Pep made a face. Uh, maybe don't. <laughs> yeah, maybe not, because the first roll was a crit. So. <laughs> yeah, hit, hit one of the, we'll test it out later. Wait a minute, if you rolled, you rolled. No, I'm just kidding. Um. <laughs> no, it's just whoever was the closest. Uh, so if there's... Nerium always assumes whichever one is on top of Nova in one way, shape, or form, he's dealing with it. So she, unless she's specifically told, Nerium, help! <laughs> she assumes he's fine. <laughs> Actually, Beth, to be a bit of a rules lawyer for a moment, yeah, I, I believe Nerium has Sentinel and Polar Master, and that guy would have to enter into range of me in order to... Not if it dumps down from on high. He went pachu. Okay. He he a goopy boy. Ooh. Okay, okay. Bad, 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 bad. I just want to make sure. Uh huh. Anyways. Yeah, I'm trying to save my ass. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got a 38, a 26, and a 25. The poop. 38, 26, 25. Those all hit. Yay. <laughs> and which one are you swinging on again? Whichever one was closest to her. Right now, that's the one on Nova. There is another one nearby, if you would okay, like Okay, that second one, then. Okay. Like I said, Niria, if, if one is hanging out with Nova, she assumes he's dealing with it, unless sure, sure. told otherwise. Sure, sure. We respect the 1v1s around here. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, she's going to go to the next closest one with her echo it's behind her, just looming, mm-hmm. looking like the ocean depths and horrors <laughs> of the eldritch horrors that are in the deep. Okay, uh, let's get the help. damage. Need dice help? Yes, please. Okay. I'm uh, not what doing is... action charge. I'm just doing the three bonks right now. What is the damage bonus besides your weapon? Uh, plus 12. Plus 12. Okay, you great weapon master. Yep. So that's plus 22, and then your rage damage is plus 4. So 26 times 3 plus, and I've got the dice, 8d10 plus 13d6, uh, plus 87. So 26 times 3 plus 87. We love the sound of so many dice. Quick, <laughs> quick point of question. Um, switch the music did Nova up. get any adamantine Plus. armor stuff from when we went to shopping? No, I purchased adamantine chunks. Oh, okay. Because because we made we made uh, Azalea's chest breastplate adamantine, and then we made something for Narium, I think, but I wasn't sure. Narium has an adamantine, has as um, what was the plus again? Shield. Uh, okay. pl- it's 26 times 3 damage. Okay. Plus 87. I will find this toothy boy. That was 154 damage. 154? Well, uh, he has to roll for shock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's fine. <laughs> Close. I'm close to finding the toothy boy. And is that your turn? Any bonus action? My bonus action was my echo. Okay, thank you. <laughs> and... Want to action surgeon kill him? What if a bigger boy comes out? Sure. <laughs> I'm like, these are just... This is just the appetizers. <laughs> just near him, worried. So is that your turn? Yeah, it's her turn. All right, so Latos is going to cast a Banish upon one of them. Ooh. It's another legend resistance, legendary resistance down. I'm going to turn the music down a touch. Off of one of the nightmares? Mm-hmm. 
Sorry, what's what's the question? No, no, that's crazy. Okay, so they all have legendary <laughs> resistances. Yeah, okay. yeah. Fine. yeah. Fine. oh yeah. No, dude, <laughs> you don't know. Welcome to We're the chaos. You to the wall. Yeah. Welcome to level twenty with the. <laughs> Now that said, your just did 154 damage. So you that know, that's so true. We're fine. <laughs> you fight <laughs> gods with gods. <laughs> uh, all right, that's Solitas. One of the one of the uh, nightmares is going to look down curiously and confused at Azalea's presence, <gasps> and it's going to and come down and kind of look at you for a second. What do you do? Uh. I'm gonna like. Like as far as words I'm, go and stuff like that. Oh, like, as far like, as words go, I'm yeah, not yeah, saying yeah. anything. I okay. just I'm watching it. I'm I'm paying really close attention to like if it makes any aggressive movement because I I'm not here for any of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm These aren't my people. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know you like that dog. Get out of here. Um, it is going to uh, slowly uncurl this like tendon looking thing with, with bits of bone attaching all of it to it. So like a multi hinged, almost like a tail uh, with no with no skin. It kind of slowly does a little, je- little, little reaching towards you to see see what you do. I know that Fish is horrified. Sure. Azalea is probably less horrified at like the nightmarish <laughs> qualities of it and Stands more just reason. like more just like what the frick? Because like <laughs> she is she is a nightmare. I feel like the existence of horrifying nightmare creatures is less the thing that trips her. Mm-hmm. Her this is whack. Fish, however, is the <laughs> <laughs> Um but I, I, how close is it getting to me with this weird tendril? It's thing? about to touch you. I am going to move out of the way of it. You can't move. It's not your turn. I, I am, uh, I'm, I'm gonna yell at it. I don't. Okay. What do you do? Stop it. <laughs> what do you just stop it? Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. None of that. Uh, you say that, and it like, and then it lunges. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Bop. Oop, that's cocked. Uh, the claw comes out uh, with a 19 to hit. That does hit. That does hit. All right. Twenty one magical piercing damage, and oh, you need a con save of twenty one. A con save of twenty one. Twenty six. Okay. Never mind. You're totally fine. Everything's fine. Next pit feed. Not pit feed. Uh, I'm going to use my, my simulacrum is going to use its legendary action. Okay. And it is going to uh, spew petrifying gas over top of Nova Prime and this evil thing. Only Nova Prime, if I remember correctly, has a legendary oh. action. Oh, I forgot. You're you're so right for that king, and I'm paralyzed. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> but you're great. <laughs> Um, okay. Next nightmare is going to, uh, do this. It's going to, one long arm appears behind it and it pulls itself back and it slingshot rubber band styles, uh, launches itself at lottery. Um, the claws are out. That is a 29 and a 19 to hit. They both hit. They both hit. I love it. I love it. I love it less. <laughs> <laughs> I got enough love for everybody. We're going to be good. We're going to be <laughs> just fine. <laughs> Alternatively. <laughs> <laughs> Alternatively. Uh, math, 23, 26. Magical slashing damage. 26, okay. And then <laughs> a viper, a, a scorpion-esque tail whips around with the momentum and goes for another hit. Okay. That is a 26 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Take eight damage. Yay. (laughs) Yay. All right, and that Ah. brings us to Lottery. All right. I, uh, it's like, 
Did that stick do anything to me? Did it like pierce? It didn't like give me any of the venom or nothing? No. Cool. Good, 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 good. No we'll poison. No poison. Um, where is everything from me? Like how far away are things and what okay. am I looking at? So you are very close to Nova and Nerium. You're in a rather large feast hall that has various winding stairs up to a balcony. You can see the second floor, a couple of doors up there. Um, okay. There are four creatures, these nightmares that you can see. Um, the fifth is down in the hole with uh, Azalea. How far away is Azalea? Azalea... 80 feet. 80 feet down. 80 now. feet. Okay. So you, you down there, down there. Okay, cool. Um, so as Lottery gets stuck, I was like, I think he uh, looks at Nerium and at Nova. It's like, so they're not with you? These things. No, kill it. No, no kill it. Get, get, get on it. Get on it, mates. <sighs> okay. But you're uh, going to be the most at the cabin boy next. <laughs> <laughs> um, for an action, I'm going to cast Greater Illusion on myself. Okay. And uh, fly away from the... Using my movement to fly away from the uh, creature that's near me. Okay. Wouldn't that provoke an opportunity of attack? Uh, probably at disadvantage if I'm invisible. Greater illusion makes you invisible? Until the spell ends for one minute. Cool. Anything okay. that's wearing, uh, and I can attack while invisible for a minute, too. It doesn't. It Pro doesn't, strats! Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> All right. At disadvantage, it's going to try to take a bite out of you, and you're very lucky because that was a crit, but the other one was a plus 14. A dirty 20. A dirty 20? Can I silvery barbs that? Yes. Now that it's my turn now. I will reaction so free birds get, that. Okay. Did Shane just give Seth more HP? <laughs> what? Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate you, Shane. Hope you're doing well. Uh, plus 18 I'll HP. All right. <laughs> Let's go. Why don't you like us? <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you, Shane. Appreciate you. Um, uh, so do I swing again at disadvantage? Or uh, is the... the one that hit the one that gets re-rolled. The triggering creature must re-roll the d20 and use the lower roll. So it sounds like I roll once. You, you roll again, is it was what it is. But not at disadvantage. You just use the lower roll, but it okay. doesn't count as disadvantage. Okay, that will be a 17 to hit. That still hits. Uh, yeah, that still hits. Okay. <laughs> Um, I'm, you a I'm squishy. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get shield. I need to learn shield. Uh, do bards have shield proficiency? Uh, you no, take 19 piercing damage, magical. 19 piercing. Okay, cool, 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 cool. And, uh, only and then I will roll to for concentration to get that. That is 11 maintain concentration okay uh that brings us to azalea uh, i still have a bonus action just oh, really apologies. quickly yeah, I'm gonna, please I'm, you're good i'm gonna toss uh um a bardic inspiration at uh myself for uh, within 60 feet okay i'm gonna i'm gonna toss it over to nova um and you're gonna kind of see this card kind of appear and it kind of starts to float around you because it's not just a regular um type of inspiration. This is also going to be a saving throw uh, mote of potential. Ooh. So when you, when basically when you ever you choose to use this, um, if you use it for specifically a saving throw, you will also gain temporary hit points equal to the number on the roll. It's Bet. a d10 plus four. Bet. Sounds like I know what I'm doing next turn. <laughs> <laughs> And that will be my turn. I'll right, fly bye. up and out of the way of these nightmares. Azalea! None of that, thank you. I am going to action wild shape into a Quetzalcoatl. So, big giant dinosaur bird. Okay. Um, I'm going to fly 80 feet to the top of the hole. And then okay. I'm going to cast Grasping uh, Hang on, that's going to provoke an attack of opportunity. Okay. Cool. Rude. Fantastic. Does a... No. 24 hit you. 
Actually, just misses. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you take 13 magical piercing damage. Cool. I am still a Quetzalcoatl. Um, and so I fly, I fly to the top of the hole, which is the full 80 feet. Uh, and then I'm going to cast Grasping Vine on the, like, edge of the hole. Okay. So that I can hit stuff in, like, 30 feet of the hole. And okay. also, if the thing starts climbing up from the hole, I can also smack it. Okay. Um, uh, and I Wha will have it. <laughs> yeah, and so I will have... Uh, I, I, because it's a it's a bonus action to cast, and then I can use when I cast it, I can have it attack something. Um, I'm gonna attack the thing. Is okay. So so just for like a layout of what's happening right now, like Nova is being swallowed by toothy nightmare thing. Mm -hmm. Is there another nearby toothy nightmare thing? Uh, yes. Close I will to attack that one. Okay. Yeah. Do your thing. Yeah, it's a it's a deck save. Twenty-one. It is. Uh, it fails, and so it has to. It, it pulled twenty feet it towards fails. the vine. <sighs> okay. <laughs> okay. It gets yeah. yanked forward. Mm -hmm. Yoded. That's it. It's not a damage thing. It's just a just a. It's Yoink. at the vine. Yoink. Yoink is the opposite of yeet, in my humble Yoink. opinion. The vine. Yoink. The vine itself doesn't look like a vine. It looks like this weird like twisting, writhing, black tendril shape that uh, looks like it's made of the same stuff that Azalea in bear form was. Okay. Um, but it's just like the one tendril-y thing that just kind of grabs it and yanks. Okay. Mm -hmm. Time for Solitas to have a legendary action. I uh, have a really quick thing. Um, also, apparently, the Quetzalcoatl doesn't provoke opportunity attacks when it flies out of enemy's reach, so I, I, I don't actually get hit by the thingy. Hey. Okay. Yeah. I was just reading the stat block, sorry. You're totally, no, you're totally fucked. fucked. <laughs> Take that 13 <laughs> damage back. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, legendary action. Bop, bop, ba da bop, ba da ba dee ba da ba dee ba bop. Forest cage. You come here. And then you look at Azalea. He looks at Azalea and goes, I'm going to need an explanation for this later cage. As the force cage, not you, uh, around <laughs> one of the uh, nightmares that has, came, that, has, that has invaded. And you watch as this almost coffin-like uh, form is... A barrier formed around the thing as it starts writhing around and trying to get out. We don't all know each other. <laughs> <laughs> it's more of the timing. <laughs> no, that's valid. Like we don't all know each other. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> um, top of the round with Nova. <laughs> Do I have any type of save to get out of this paralysis, or am yes. I just kind of cheese? at the start of my turn or at the end? At of the start of your turn. Bet! Um, where's that tasty D10? Um, I'm going to do that, and I have inspiration from chat. What type of save is it? It is a, uh, uh, strength saving throw as you begin, uh, oh wait, so paralysis. Sorry, um, that's gonna be a con save. <gasps> okay, well I did that once, so I'm gonna whoop, inspiration that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, chat, for the inspiration. Chat, if you Thanks, don't know, you can chat. burn channel points, uh, which is a free currency you get over time just for watching, uh, to give spell slots, inspiration, HP to all sorts of people, and for help us. the cheaper versions <laughs> are randomized, which means they might go to me. Also, ah. you can you can just straight up buy inspiration for me as well. <laughs> uh, that's a thirty-one <laughs> with the help of Lottery Faust. 31. Whatever you rolled on the bardic dice, you get that in temporary HP plus four. I rolled a nine, so that is a 13 temp HP. Bet. <laughs> um, excellent. Well, he does like you. <laughs> My release from the paralysis? Yes, and you start pulling at the uh, at the nightmare as you, begin, ah! as you begin ripping yourself free as it screams around you. Mm. All right, fuck you. I will cast um, both me and my simulacrum are going to 
link up and do the and do a lovely dance together, also known as us both casting Spirit Shroud at seventh level. <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna target this nightmare who just attacked me. Spirit Shroud, going, you say? Uh, yes, Radiance damage. Oh, uh, that's gonna be counterspelled. <gasps> By whom? By two of the nightmares. Rude. Two nightmares are, are they just are they targeting us both? One each. One each. Gotcha. Uh, we will both uh, counter with our own counter spells, both at fifth level. Okay. Then it goes through. Bet. Um, okay, <laughs> me and my simulacrum are going to attack. I'm going to attack this one first and see how much damage I deal with um, an action surge. So that's four attacks, one, two of which will be booming blade because I'm a blade singer. And this is the one that's on you? Unplugged my headphones so I can't hear you. Hear you say that I'm playing the game like a goober. And you, uh, that's the one that's that tried to grab you that you're attacking. I can't hear you. I'll be outlaw, everybody. Um, and I need one more dice, one more dice, one more dice. Here you go. Hi. Here you go. I dropped it. Okay, that is going to be. It's a long shot. Hey. Ah, but I'm. It's an official episode. <laughs> that is a 31. 31 hits. A 29. 29 hits. A 30. 30 hits. And a 16. Oh, How many attacks is that? 16 does four. not hit. Oh. Ah. All right, all right, all right. Okay, well, uh, that will be going to, that is going to be 1, 2, 3, D8 from the rapier. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 from the dragon's wrath damage. And an additional 3d8 per hit. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Um, additionally, I'm going to be dealing uh, plus 10 damage for each, so plus 30. Uh, uh, Lottery's like watching all of this and is like silently clocking what mm -hmm. everyone is doing and the, like, the quickness of their abilities and whatnot. 106. 106. Very good. How's it looking? It, uh, hideous. <laughs> but it always looked that way. Yeah, well. Okay. <laughs> it's hard to get the exact <laughs> anatomy. 154 and he Azalea was fine. Azalea would be able to determine that two of them are bloodied. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, my simulacrum will join in on the fight. Okay. Um, and it will also make, it will make four attacks of its own. Actually, wait, I forgot some extra damage. I'm very sorry. I forgot two of them were booming blades. How? Could you <laughs> add on 34 more damage, so 140 damage for me. <laughs> add on how much more? Sorry, 34 more damage. Oh, almost getting to uh, Nerium levels. <laughs> that's right. an action surge. <laughs> <laughs> My simulacrum will join in with um, 23 damage. With okay. 23 to hit. 23 30 hits. To hit. 30, 30 to hit. 30 to hit. 30 to hit. 25 hits. <laughs> um, this he deals less damage. One, two, three, four hits. One, two, three. One, two, three, and then three per hit. That is going to be twelve extra d eights for twenty two d eight plus forty. Uh, a hundred and thirty nine damage from my sim. Ooh, that is a dead nightmare. Yay! You watch Ooh. as as well. How would you like to do it? So Nova and his sim look at each other, this thing that just invaded his body. Uh, they both wield their rapiers, and there's a flash, a clap of thunder, um, uh, bolts of radiant holy light, and a black hole opens up as when they finally finish slicing, it just collapses, and it is gone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And is that your turn? You hear, you hear somewhere favorite. floating above you invisible? <laughs> Okay. Right. <laughs> that's the little golf clap. <laughs> well done, cabin boy. And that's the cabin boy. <laughs> <laughs> Some, something about the way you said that made my, made my brain immediately start saying, a clash of drums, a flash of light. <laughs> <laughs> what is that from? Oh, the theater kids are Joseph singing. The amazing practical <laughs> dream coat. Amazing. Uh, okay. And, is, and, and confirmed yeah. that is your turn? That shall be my turn. Okay. Well, they didn't like that. And the one that's next to you, uh, that was fighting Nerium, is going to uh, use all four attacks. Hey, respect the one you want. <laughs> there is no respect here. They, they, they don't got it. As it attacks me, this will proc Sentinel from Nerium. Okay. 
first attack then with the bite. That is going to be a 22 to hit. That misses. All right. Um, Sentinel. Harry, I'm hit him. Yeah, okay, Kill him. Yeah. <laughs> Harry, I'm, please. <laughs> I get one attack, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, just the one. Just the one. A goodly bonk, if you will. <gasps> I She's found coming. it! I found the toothy boy! You did? I did! Posted it in the Discord. Posted and other Discord. sentences no one ever needs to say <laughs> ever. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, just a warning uh, to the uh, <laughs> to uh, our viewers, the for anyone who's new here. Uh, graphic. Not crude or anything like that. Just very kind of disturbing and horror uh, based. You may want to stick a, the spoiler thing on it. I, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> uh, when you, are when you, you are click you the image itself, you can put spoiler. Yeah. I just put spoiler? Yeah, no, just no, click the image itself. Okay. And it'll have like an image description and then you can put Marcus spoiler. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. Chat, this is going into the Void Scourge channel of uh, the Discord. If you would like to head over there, um, you'll be able to see um, what I'm talking about as I post and talk at the same time like a true content creator. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to flap my gums while I, while I, while I work, man? All right, bet. Um, bet. That add... Uh, nope, that's not it. Uh, words. I'm gonna keep talking. I don't see the Marcus spoiler because I'm on my mobile, so you just can send it to me and I'll put it in the chat. Okay, I got it. Does open. a 38 Appreciate hit? You. Yes, <laughs> it do. <laughs> it do in fact hit. Offy, you want to help me with my damage dice for that one hit? <laughs> sure. One d10 plus three d6. Power it couple. A it wasn't a crit, right? It was a 19 plus 18. Did you, did you roll with advantage? No. You oh. can't roll with advantage because you're I a I know, but that gives him advantage. It gives him advantage, but, but, like, but like you're supposed to get hit. <laughs> you're the tank. <laughs> t it'll it's be a tickle. Fine. It'll be a tickle. <laughs> plus 20. Sorry. I swear I'm usually more prepared 26. than this. Plus 26. For your modifiers. <laughs> That's 43 damage. All right, here it comes, fish. There you go. Enjoy that. <laughs> How's it look with 43 damage? 43 damage. I hate that. Oh, wow. That's As the you're first away, time she's this like, one's oh, hit. you're real funny, and she just slams her glaive down. <laughs> oh, it's not the first time this one's getting hit, actually. Thankfully, no, it, had it healed a little bit from chat. Thanks, chat. So it's oh. still in the game! Damn it! <laughs> Four, okay. I'm mad at chat now. <laughs> what do you think, Fish? I hate it. Thanks. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> what in the pan's labyrinth? <laughs> what? Trigger warning, gore? See? <laughs> <laughs> Body <A lot>? horror. <laughs> Alright, so. Um... You managed to bonk the thing. Um, it is going to scrabble uh, and writhe from this, but it's going to continue swinging on uh, Nova Wake. Yep, it missed its bite. Yep, thank you. Um, I've got two crits and a 17 plus 14. Two crits? This is reminding me of my Baldur's Gate Nuzlocke. This is dumb. Silvery barbs. <laughs> you don't it. have silvery barbs. <laughs> what are you I talking about? I dropped my pen. <laughs> uh, Zalia, do you have silvery barbs? To get rid I of one don't of those have silvery barbs. Yeah, Lottery, bro. you used I don't have action, it. I used right? it already. And I used mine on counter spells. Well, they both hit then. Oh. And what was the other one? What was the final hit? Uh, 17 plus 14 coming out to a 30... One. Uh, too okay. much. Yeah. <laughs> ah, they all, those three hit. Oh, good. Make a DC <laughs> 21 wisdom saving throw. You can make those. I can't. Oh, you lucky yes! bastard. They're you lucky bastard. Yes, I am. I rolled low. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Man, okay. Um... <laughs> 
How you doing, chat? Y'all having fun? All I know is that I'm going to roll so bad when it matters because I'm rolling way too hot right now. You take 63 points of magical piercing damage. A barrage of teeth and claw. All right, I got to make a concentration saving throw. And frankly, it's a little smelly. It kind of stank. Ooh, you got halitosis. It's, like, it's like a bad breath from, teeth? but like mixed with like the pit stank. You know what I'm saying? You no. got like the. He's got teeth down there. It's a bad time, all in all. No. I don't, I don't <laughs> know if y'all know what the Kitsukoto looks like, but it's like a giant beak for a head with like tiny eyes on the side. Um, when Nova says that, those tiny eyes roll. <laughs> so right. I had to roll. I had to roll a thirty-one to maintain concentration. I nat Ooh. twenty plus sixteen for a thirty-six. Nice. Let's go. All right, that brings us to Nerium. Nerium, it is a your turn. You is get it still that back. one next to me? Mm -hmm. Just that one. It's barely in it though, so I would spread around your damage. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Because if if I dealt freaking almost two hundred damage to this thing. He's, he's, he's probably got about 200. Um, how's a 28 to hit? I rolled an 11. 28 hits. Plus, eight, plus 18 to be like 29. Sorry, I'm bad at math. You're fine. <laughs> Me too. Me too, bestie. All right, so. Plus. That's 42 damage. 42 damage. That is a goner. Yay! What does I it look like? Paint me a word picture. <laughs> After she does her slam as he tries to run away, <laughs> and then he zooms out of it, she's like, oh, you better not. And then she s sends her echo over, and as a wave comes down on him with the eldritch horrors of the deep and slams onto him, drowning him in a mess of anglerfish and gulper eels <laughs> and terrifying creatures. It, it panics and it freaks out and it can't escape and then it is just picked apart. <laughs> All right. All right, she got two more attacks, so who's next to her? Uh, No one. You've got, no one. You've got one in a force cage and you've got one in the hole. Hmm. You can jump down the hole and survive quite handedly. It's 80 feet. That's 86. That's nothing. Oh, oh, you know, I'm wrong. Six. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. There oh. is one. There is one over by Solitas. Bet. <laughs> How far away is it, though? Uh, about 30 feet. All right. So full movement, I think. Okay. Oh, no, I got 40. Hey. So most of my movement, I'm going to head over. You see that this writhing mass of nightmarish, uh, of nightmare fuel uh, literally is like, Argh! and then you hear... And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> like, get over here. Yeah, you go through the first one. <laughs> it's being devoured by anglerfish and abominations in the void. And uh, and you're, it's like framing you as you're just like hauling towards it. It's just like, <laughs> All right, I'm going to action surge with this one, but I still only have my two attacks from the first action technically. So I only get five instead of six. Okay. Also, what? chat. Only five. We got the moon Only back. five. <laughs> moon. Moon has returned to us. Uh, uh, Quincy, a long time ago, I had a, I had this dope moon, and there was a redeem for getting the moon because it's got lights in it and it floats. Um, and uh, I, tr I was trying to put googly eyes on it, and I broke it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and so my sister got me another one for Christmas. Oh, that's awesome. How did that's you, awesome. How, Beth, I gotta, how did you break it putting googly eyes on it? What did you do? It's a very, very uh, uh, fragile balance. Mm -hmm. And just the two little light plastic googly eyes messed that up and it slammed down and the bottom of it broke up into the oh, moon. Oh, I genuinely, I thought that you'd put googly eyes on it and then and just, somehow <laughs> managed to shatter it. It's <laughs> just like, get in there! <laughs> <laughs> so the lowest I rolled was a 22. Goofy. 22 hits. Okay, so they all hit, and one was a 20, so oh, no. all hit and a crit, five attacks. Want to help me out? Yes. Okay, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, <laughs> plus two, one, two, three, four, plus eight. So that's 10d10 for, for that. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three four, five, six. Um, five attacks, that's 26 times five. 
Yeah, Quincy, they when I when I told you that they were they were goaded and we're gonna have to like get you some home brew, get you some get you some up to snuff, we're gonna have to get a little think, crazy with it. That makes sense. That makes sense. I'm mm -hmm. here for it. It's absurdism. It's the only way I was able that Offy was able to like pitch me the third campaign. I was like mm -hmm. I was like, I'm down, but I'm scared. I need you to sell me on it. And he was like, You don't understand, it's gonna be crazy. <laughs> it's gonna be like, awesome. Oh, oh huh? once <laughs> but once it was absurd to me, suddenly it was doable. Amazing. How's 228 damage sound? <laughs> huh? Yeah, that's dead. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Solitos. She really anime style just skewers into it and <laughs> paints a star, <laughs> cutting oh. out it back into him. Oh and then the last attack, the echo again phases through her and oh. engulfs him. <laughs> Solitos slowly appears in your vision. He goes, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Two down. Another, another golf clap. <laughs> nice, Captain. Very nice. Okay. <laughs> Captain for a reason. Solitas looks around and goes, <laughs> "You've got this. I must protect the mirror and the river." And he turns. Protect your people. And you watch as immediately as he gets outside, a bunch of uh, smaller nightmares swarm him to where he looks fuzzy and outlined, and he slowly starts lifting up, and he just starts swapping at him and beating the mess out of him. <laughs> and he comes back down, and he keeps running. He's running slower as they're all, like, pulling on him. And he's just like, oh! Hey. <laughs> um, and that brings us to Lottery. Lottery. All right, I want to hover over the pit okay. with one in there. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to bonus action hex it. Okay. Because it's 90 feet range. So I want to hex it. Uh, I want to Real have quick, it if I may, what's the magic mm -hmm. look like as you cast it? So what you'll see is you'll see a bunch of cards kind of floating around at Lottery. And then one kind of just uh, star falls, comets onto this, uh, onto the nightmare creature below with a kind of like a, you hear kind of like a bell ring, but also like a, like a, um, uh, almost like a penny, almost like if it was like a penny inside of a bell uh, kind of ring. And, right. and it uh, hexes the creature underneath there and the creature will have disadvantage on uh, strength checks. Okay. For the time being. Um, and you will then see four blasts of eldritch power, light blue with a flicker of like some pink highlights into it, shoot straight down into it. And because I am invisible, these will be with advantage. Hell yeah. Nice. Yeah. So, good heavens. First one's a 22. Second one's a 29. Third one's a nat 20. Ooh. And the oh fourth God. one's only a 17. 17 does not hit. Dang. Okay, so three will hit. One of them's a crit. Um. So that is, and we're doing the antagonize, uh, the adding the charisma to it. Yes. Agonizing blast, yes. Agonizing blast. Okay, so 14 for the first one, plus uh, a d6 for the hex. I have to roll a bunch of dice. Okay, let me just give you. <laughs> yeah, we got we got all the dice rolls up in this yes. one. <laughs> uh, six for the third, eight for the uh, six for the second, eight plus four twelve okay. for the third blast. Let me get you your hex damage. Six, one eight, of those four, will have twelve. One of those will have six thunder damage because of my genie. Okay. And then the hex damage adding on top of that is only just nine extra force damage. And nine. Okay. Yes. Um, yeah. 15, yeah. 12, <laughs> four. Uh, I'd like to point out that both of my crits were on the dice that Fef gave me, so <laughs> it's his fault. <laughs> that comes out to a dead even 45 damage. All right, I'll no take ice. it. That's fine. That's no pretty ice. good. You watch uh, Azalea as you are over the hole. The four blasts boom, boom, just go right around you and, hur and twine and hurl down, and you hear three of them connect with the nightmare down below. 
<laughs> Thank you, Captain. And I fly away to another location. Oh, this is great. <laughs> I mean, craw! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, or whatever, whatever dinosaurs say. We, we determined that you could talk. Uh, as... I, I'm not going to, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's funnier if she does it. <laughs> yeah. It's for the plot, it's for the bit. <laughs> yeah. If I need to talk, I can, but no one else needs to know that, so, you know. Yeah. Force cage. I looked up soul cage. I was like, wait, what? This acts soul crazy. Cage. Force cage is intense. Yeah, that's what one of the nightmares is in because of Solitas. Um, and I know there's a way to get out. You can tell it must out, make, must make a, charisma, a charisma saving throw, which it will burn a legendary reaction. Resistance. Um, thank you. How many, is this, thank how many you. is this guy used? Uh, this one has used one. This is okay. his first one. Uh, there have been three across the board, each of them on singular individuals. Um. It disappears. <gasps> no! You watch as it goes... Do I notice it that with the passive itself perception? And disappears. Yeah. Uh, you would definitely be keeping an eye on, on the Could other Could I have adversary. Silvery Barbs that? Or, is that? or does the Legendary Resistance just make it happen yeah. like it's okay? It just happens. Offbeat? Uh, legendary Resistance does supersede Silvery Barbs. Okay. As it just kind of... It, 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 it forces the check to succeed regardless. Okay. So and it would just be a waste of a silvery barbs. Sure, <laughs> sure. Okay. How, how does the one in the hole look? Uh, it has... Um, We've guesstimated about 200 health each, and it's taken about 45. Yeah. Oh. So it's 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 raring to go. It looks... It, ah, it's so a little confused swell. and freaked out, though. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it, can, it can do that. <laughs> he could do that. Okay. Um, Guys, off it all has entered my home. What do I do? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks up. <laughs> uh, okay, that was its turn, which brings us to Azalea. I'm gonna need it to make a deck save. Okay. Because I am going to recast Grasping Vine right underneath it to tie it in place. Okay. Dex. Ooh, that's a low roll. It ain't got Dex for. Garbage! It's got a it roll of fucking eleven. <laughs> uh, well, that that fails. So it it's just I. It, I mean, technically the spell pulls it in twenty feet, but I'm the point is I'm trying to like keep it on the floor. Sure. Um, and then I am going to dive. Okay. Down, and bite it. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. So. Uh, that's because it, because I'm flying more than 30 feet, it takes an extra 3d6 on top of the damage okay. for the the bite. So that's four plus six plus two is 12. Welcome plus... in, Leela. As a DM, it's always Fef's fe fe fault. You right. <laughs> <laughs> I accept this burden. <laughs> Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what you cheer. <laughs> uh, it takes 30. 30 piercing damage. Okay. Oh, wait, no, I have to I have to roll to hit it first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I do didn't I, even do catch I get, that. <laughs> do I get any sort of advantage because it's tied to the floor by a, a giant vine? Is it restrained or? No, it just would have pulled it down further. Then no, If I'm there sorry. was room for it to pull further. Um. Okay, let's hope this. 19? 19 <laughs> just hits. Thank goodness. Ooh, okay, nice. 30 piercing damage. 30 piercing damage. And then I'm just going to stand on top of it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm holding him there. That is that is my intention. Okay. <laughs> to keep him from going anywhere. Okay. Alright. And I'm Lorg, so... Okay, I like it. Actually, technically I'm huge, but you know. Alright, that brings <laughs> us to the top of the round with Nova. Um... Third. You oh, didn't mute. Oh, oh. <laughs> you you went to mute and you didn't. Oh, thanks. Aww, Aww. That's so... Wow, he moves fast. He's Did you see that? Man. He was gone. <laughs> All right. Holy Look crap, you move fast. <laughs> it's them long legs, brother. He was just <laughs> gone. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I don't know why that's so funny that to me. You just turned and went. <laughs> <laughs> it's your turn, Nova. 
<laughs> and, and, and just said that DoorDash guy looks familiar. <laughs> <laughs> um, the only one left is uh, down the hole. Uh, Azalea is on top of it, and it also has the vine whip uh, wrapped around it. Mm-hmm. Okay, and it's 80 feet down? Yes. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, Nova will jump down uh, with his simulacrum. His simulacrum is going to use its reaction to cast Feather Fall. It's taking about okay. 75 damage. We will fall down without taking any fall damage. Like a G? And once down there, it's taking about 75. Um, Nova and Simulacrum will just go to town on it. It's prone? It I... is not technically prone. <laughs> ah, God. damn. Why you gotta say those words that make me so sad? Yeah, I uh, like cause... making you sad, you know? I just, okay. it, if I could, if I could just wake you up every five minutes it with like, uh, with like Malort, <laughs> you know, just the pepper liquor, you know, just, just... <laughs> <laughs> uh, in that case, I'm I didn't going dig to... get very deep for that one. <laughs> that you one was know, that one was mid. That. <laughs> you did you did what you had, you know. Off he used his action to door dash. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna save some of my higher level slots. Um, that should be okay. My simulacrum is gonna spend its fifth level spell slot to cast scorching ray, and I am going to smack it with my sword. Okay. Um, so I'll do the sword smacks first. <laughs> that, it's like slapping 20... him with the flat end of it, you know? <laughs> 23 to hit. 23 hits. We discovered the, and... the thing's AC is 19. 19? Okay, bet. All right, and then that's a... Tw- and then that hits with a 20... With a 30... With a 29. And now all of the scorching rays. I'm doing a fifth level. That means i got to use 66 um, for all of the hits. That is going to be a... It's a simula- it's a simulacrum of me, so it's about that, so it's gonna be minor- that's gonna be a- A 25 to hit, that hits. A crit, that hits. A 17, that does not. A 27, that hits. And I've got two more to roll, got one miss on the docket. One crit, that's a hit. And that's a hit. One miss total, one crit, five hits in total. Um, that is going to be then from me. Nova Prime did a rapier with booming blade and then a regular, and then that all had 66 total on top of it. Um, and that is going to be an additional plus 20 per thing. So that's 20 damage from the, from plus on top of that. I'll tell you the the total damage at the end. Okay. Um, I like hearing the process though for the chat. <laughs> so I'm not calculating furiously for a few minutes. Uh, I think it's impressive. It's hits, kind of a staple. <laughs> one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, for the crit, one, two, and then for one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, and then plus on top of that. Thank you, Dylan. Thank you. I remembered the ketchup <laughs> and everything. <laughs> we all the dice. Twenty three d eight plus thirteen d six is plus twenty one hundred and ninety eight damage. Oh, that Lex is just like I'm not running. One hundred ninety eight. <laughs> yeah. How do you want to do this? <laughs> okay. Yo. So, uh, Nova's first swing. He's just gonna use the rapier. Um, a very unorthodox, and he's just gonna baseball bat it up into the air. <laughs> um, the simulacrum is going to is it's the, it's, uh, the black hole eye will float out in front of him. It will widen up until a mini, a tiny little dot appears in the center, and then the dot gets very close to the front of the black hole, and then the dot is a tiny sun, and it <laughs> yeah, like an aperture blasts it, and with the final hit, Nova from the top. Slams the sword down, thunderclap, boom! It blows up everywhere. Azalea, who was standing on top of this thing, as oh. I know, <laughs> has been flung from the from the detonation, <laughs> and now uh, Azalea, you find yourself covered in viscera. <laughs> the immediate battle around you stills. You can still hear sounds of combat starting to die down outside. Uh, but for the most part, it's the screams of the dead and dying. 
I'm gonna slowly change back into humanoid form and like just like white goop from my eyes. Just... Melly also starts just like lottery kind of like <laughs> appears the greater invisibility uh, dissipating beside you. You've got some teeth in your hair back there. <laughs> I was going to ask it where it came from, but that's a little difficult now. <laughs> they friends of yours. I heard. I couldn't help but hear in Solitas mention that you might know them. I do not. But you're familiar. Nope. Insight check. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll roll. I'll roll. Um, my insight actually is not that great. Only a 16. Um, well, my my persuasion is 26, mm -hmm. so I, I seem very convincing. Hmm. Uh, I definitely believe that I don't know these things. Okay. It was rather impressive, Snake. Mm -hmm. She seems, she seems, a, she seems a little bit like like she's she's got like wheels turning in her head. Uh, she's gonna like kind of wipe the stuff off, and Melly's just kind of like, <laughs> um, "Mom, you're gross. Uh, Why are you gross?" <laughs> uh, I suppose a conversation needs to be had. Does anyone need help getting out of this hole? I'm up top. I'm I'm chilling. <laughs> Specifically at Nova. <laughs> uh, I'll have my simulacrum cast Vortex Warp on me, and then I will Vortex Warp my simulacrum up using my signature spell. I'm good. <laughs> I'll, 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 I, I kind of stretch back into a Quetzalcoatl and flap my way up to the top. And good job, Cabin Boy. Land. Thank you. Now, if you'd appreciate it, if I'd be called by my actual title of Captain Nova Wake. This is actually getting to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you're the captain. Oh, that yeah. makes sense. <laughs> mm. Mm. Interesting. Well, I guess it makes sense with the, the, the hat and everything. Mm. <laughs> just thought, I just thought it was a token and a gesture of, like, I don't know, maybe you stole it off something. Said the guy in a cravat. I can't help but notice you cast silvery barbs on one of my crew members. Oh, and I also couldn't help the fact that you also have the counter spell. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I tend to protect my crew. Mm. Remember what we mentioned? Don't cause me problems. Don't get I incinerated. Couldn't... I couldn't help notice that when your friend, the, the snake, started to feel a little woozy, that the world started to change a little bit. So you'll apologize. You'll, you'll forgive my... concern. The, uh, ground shakes a little bit. As uh, as as the River Lord returns, covered in viscera, <laughs> and b by the neck, holding uh one of these little almost impish nightmares, mm -hmm. uh the last of a swarm maybe, mm -hmm. and he goes, got one. I immediately snap back into like human form, humany form. Solitas does not look pleased. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> you don't need an insight check to see that he's a little yeah. perturbed. He had a real nice feast going, and that's kind of the that's kind of the big issue. It's not that there was an invasion; it's that mm -hmm. it was inopportune timing. <laughs> um, I am going to march up to the the thing. Okay, and again, uh, you don't um recognize the make and model, if you will. Mm -hmm. It's it's uh it's got it's it's the teeth again with these strange like overlapping layers of teeth like scales and they and they twitch and they writhe as uh as it tries to get away but it's it's a very small creature uh and not very powerful all by itself. Quick quick question: the terminology around like the different groups are they guilds of? Nightmares? Um, or... you could call like, them houses if you wanted houses. to. They're okay. more like different factions. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna march right up to it. Um, and is, does uh does the does he does he just keep kind of holding it? Yeah. In place. Okay. I'm just gonna let him hold it because he seems to have that under control. Let's go. 
It's got what little, house little are you from? Shove it up. Yes. Can you loosen up just a tiny bit so he can speak, please? It sounds like he can talk to me. Can I rip one of his legs off? I mean, he doesn't need both of them, right? As long as he can talk, you're welcome to do what you would like. Cool. Make a strength <laughs> check, you absolute unit. Uh, yeah. For context, <laughs> you <laughs> would you like to tell us uh, uh, your strength roll, your strength modifier? Oh, uh, let's see. That strength modifier is a plus 21 to my athletics. So. <laughs> plus 21. Oh, I love it. And here. I rolled a 16, so plus 21. <laughs> it's a 37 on the strength. Uh, foot up against the, the crook of him, and then just, ah, you tear his leg off. You are more inclined to answer my friend's questions. Um, he sounds less inclined. I think he needs that other leg gone. Uh, 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 as, as, as she's talking to, talking to, like, asking this thing, I'm gonna also cast Entangle to try to, like, basically like take the guy from him um, okay. and just have a bunch of like vines and stuff also holding this man's like limbs, N okay. not like man, but like this this nightmare things like limbs okay. in various directions. You, you uh, after after some finagling managed to restrain the creature down onto the floor or up against mm -hmm. the wall. And uh, now it's just like. <sighs> <sighs> a little easier to access if you need a to remove bit of the drool. Thank you. All right, house. Where are you from? Shove it up your ass. I'll take <laughs> the other leg right now. I'm so sorry, I'm sorry. Roll intimidation, dear. You might have vanished because you ripped his leg oh, off. Oh yeah. Can <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like, see. like, like tighten the stretch to give her advantage? <laughs> uh, already has advantage. It's a twenty-six. <laughs> Never mind. <that>. Twenty-six. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're going to answer the question, or you're going to be eaten by this adorable little Drake right here. That's Chester. <laughs> oh, Chester's here. All right. Uh, <laughs> Chester. Now he's sitting uh, on top of Chester's head. Avoid, for Quincy's sake. <laughs> avoid guard Drake. He is my baby, and I love him dearly. Also, what are your thoughts on perpetual capture? Um, you see, my friend here, um, your name's Lothary Faust, right, is building something of, um, a zoo? A zoo? Yes, you'll be kept in a tiny cage. No! And I will beat you, I'll beat you daily. No! I'm the zookeeper. <laughs> the house, of zoo. now. What do, you, what do you think, Mr. Lothary Faust? Does this look like a fine thing for your zoo? <laughs> I cast Healing Word on the thing. Oh. You can damage it again. <laughs> please, please, I'm not with the house. I'm not with the house. I'm not with the house. I'm with the Nova doctor. Looks at lottery. I'm with the doctor, please. I'm with the doctor. The doctor. The doctor. Yes. Who? I'm gonna, I'm gonna insight that first to, to whether or sure. not he's he's telling the truth because I. Mm. 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 And as uh, that's happening, she's gonna throw the leg to Chester so he can just. Hop. Also at lottery, at lottery, joining in on the bit. Nova's gonna look at him with a bit more like, okay, I, I think I get you now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I respect it. I respect the hustle. <laughs> 28. 28. Uh, he's desperately telling the truth. Um, you can see it in the I don't want my legs ripped off again. That sucked. Um, <laughs> you can see you can see it in the desperate. Uh, you also realize that it is prone to telling you whatever it thinks you want to hear. So try to keep that guarded. What you want to hear specifically, because it will. It, it's so it's so terrified that it will say anything. Um, but it, you do believe it told you the truth. Mm -hmm. Doctor, is that a housemate? What is it? <laughs> Well, the doctor fled. The doctor is not with the house. He's hated for his experiments. 
hated amongst nightmares. That's quite the feat. Do I know? Do, does that ring any bell whatsoever? Like, Not a clue. Title at all? Nothing? No. Can I you, cast you... legend lore? Ooh! <laughs> Pep Spade! Bring me oh, legend oh, lore! Somebody clip yes. that right now! Somebody clip would... that right now! I would like to cast Legend Lore, and it does create instance. So what you see is, as Lottery is he hearing this, he kind of, for the first time, he pulls out a deck of cards since he's now visible. You see a deck of cards come out, and it starts to ruffle and shimmer and shake. And he's going to create an action, use his action to, as a bard of creation, create 250 gold wor values worth of incense. And it instantly flames up. And as I'm going through this ritual, um, I'm going to cast Legend Lore, which is a fifth-level divination spell. I name or describe a person, place, or object, and the spell brings to my mind a brief summary of significant lore about that thing. Okay. About this thing specifically. About the Doctor. And the about lore the might doctor. consist of concurrent tales, forgotten stories, or even secret lore that has never been widely known. If it is, if the thing you named isn't of legendary importance, you gain no information. The more information you already have about the thing, the more precise and detailed the information you receive. It is accurate, but it must be couched in figurative language. Okay. Long ago and far away. <laughs> a nightmare. A member of the quarry. began making scientific discoveries, dark magics, but applying a science that was not known to the nightmares. Now, that's saying something because the party has fought a nightmare which believed itself to be the origin of torture. So, I'm emphasizing the truly heinous acts that this doctor self-named doctor did not get any paperwork <laughs> it's not um, MD. Yeah, 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 yeah. no college <laughs> oh, so, yeah sorry not the doctor uh just a i doctor. don't think he's ever been to medical school <laughs> <laughs> um, well, that's something they'd have in common <laughs> began to start tucking away various nightmares who wouldn't be missed to experiment on them, and eventually was forced to flee. Where he is now, you don't know, um, but there is a there is a vile darkness uh, that is manifest in this creature. Um, the doctor, I, I guess you would get a name. Whatever lore you want to give me, but it has to be accurate. Okay. Like as they're as you're like slowly threatening this creature and whatever he's spilling out, like I'm understanding a little bit more and more, and you kind of can see as the cards flip over and reveal kind of like very holographic images of what I'm receiving. Doctor Lirk. 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 Do you know where your doctor lives? Or is that currently? In the dark, in the bad lands, in the void, uh, hiding amongst the cold and the broken. Is your doctor powerful? Yes, yes, yes. Like, <clears throat> so powerful he could create black holes if he wanted to and create worlds and a bit crazy. This my head slowly gonna found in the secret place. My head slowly turns to Nova. <laughs> We're just... His power is found in the secret places, in the ambush, in the greed. So your doctor is in the void. <laughs> yes. What's he doing in my father's ass crack? <laughs> In my beaming. I'll make sure my dad lets out an exponentially larger fart next time to out you from your hidey hole. Azalea, what do you think about these nightmares and nightmare culture? 
Why would a doctor do this? Um, Azalea, well, this is unprecedented vileness. It would have been incorporated and welcomed. So it must be particularly heinous. Well, the fact that I am unfamiliar with this says quite a lot about exactly how heinous this doctor is. Why is my music being wonk? My kind would have welcomed something like this. So the fact that they haven't is concerning even to me. An evil being ousted by other evil beings for being too evil. Ooh. <laughs> well, so I should kill this one? <clears throat> <She's>, <laughs> I think she's gonna mutter under her breath in quarry. Oh, then I <laughs> I can understand that. Oh, then I s- Are there anything else of importance we should ask of this thing, Azalea? I'm unsure that this would be very helpful, even if we could direct a quest a well constructed question at it. I it seems helpful. to be I can be helpful. I can help. I can don't don't help. Hmm. Wait a minute. I'd like to think Melly at this point has walked over and just starts like licking its cheek. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> what do you know about getting about leading us back to where your boss is? <laughs> <laughs> Eyes on me. Eyes on me and Azalea. Eyes on us. Look, look at me. There you go. I am the captain Lick. now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Could you, if you were to perhaps be play nice with us, could you lead perhaps Azalea and all of us back to your doctor? Yes. Someone else see if that's insight. I'm not good at that. <laughs> Scroll insight. <laughs> passive insight's twenty. Does that help? Um, Twenty-seven. Uh, <laughs> the two of you smell bullshit. <laughs> it's like, I'll rip both your arms off this time. I don't know. Okay. Please, please I'm not very amenable to, to lies. The one out. Man. One eyed man. They were after me. Because you remember remember when I touched the black hole in the in the shadow fell and I became oh, the, the, the nightmare king. Oh, oh I'm God. the prince of nightmares. I'm the nightmare king now. Yes. Go fuck yourself. Yeah. What, oh. what what is that? What is that, Azalea? I feel like I could ask you that. What is that? What is the Prince of Nightmares? What's the Nightmare King? Why am I important? <laughs> Does Azalea know that? Um um, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, okay, hang on. Does Azalea know that? <laughs> <laughs> Long story short, Quincy. Uh, <laughs> Lore-wise, uh, Nova touched a black hole and became what he is now. Uh, I, I, I used to have an old build, and I yeah, begged actual and with Beth to change it because I made it for a one shot, <laughs> and the one shot build was very gimmicky, <laughs> and I wanted to change it to something else. And oh look, consequences! <laughs> I, I, I am going to respond by saying, in a much more convincing tone than I currently am able to muster because fish is not that deceptive. <laughs> um, uh, I have limited knowledge on and my thought is gone. No, come back. <laughs> come back. It was no, gonna wait. be cool. Come back. No, while wait, you're come while you're thinking about that, um the uh <laughs> when uh, Nova remade himself under his with his father's guiding hand, um, he met the parameters to be um, the 
the uh, to sit upon the nightmare throne. Um, and so there's been a lot of uh, harrying um, factions that have been all individually trying to get their meaty grippies um, on on Nova to force him to become this nightmare prince. Oh, so you're something extra special. What was what was the specific question that you asked, Offbeat? Um, the specific you know about question them? was a very dismissive. What do you know about the king, the prince of nightmares, or the nightmare king? What is this bullshit? Was the I believe the exact words. <laughs> what is this bullshit? <laughs> uh, I have I have limited knowledge on on who uh, takes that uh, who who is made to take the throne. Um, just that the various factions uh, will be pursuing them until they make their way back home. Oh. And you were after me? By that special little one. Uh, 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 do a thing. What does um, the imp say? What, I what does the find... imp say? Take. Steal. Just trying to steal his eye or him as a whole? I'm going to subtle cast Wither and Bloom on this thing. Okay. Ah! And kill it. Okay. It goes, ah! it goes. <laughs> but it's subtle cast, so the party is not able to determine that it came from fish. And you watch as uh, vine like flesh sprouts out from the face as it dies. <laughs> oh, hideous. Did you just kill it, Nova? No, that wasn't me. I see the vines. Lottery looks to Azalea. Oh, that's my bad. I skinned it as Azalea. <laughs> Sorry, it it wouldn't. Okay. You you try. That's that's on me. I'm, I, yeah, I'm, I'm very specifically trying to be like I didn't do anything. This thing, yeah, my bad. My bad. My bad. So weird. Um, <laughs> maybe more so like a blackness. A nightmare yeah. that spontaneous combusts. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Peach House has weird features. Possible could be a feature upon being captured after 10 minutes. If you do not escape, you blow up and die. I would have made it explode though, personally. Mm. Making yes. it just wither is lackluster. This one guy I knew named Tom who would explode all the time. Oh, Tom is a little bitch. What a little coward. No. Can't carry through. All anyway, the Toms uh, in the chat were looking at you. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just to be clear, the very specific Tom. <laughs> so. We have a captain who's not a captain, a cabin boy who's a king, and a nightmare that's not a nightmare with a honeysuckle bear thing. Mm -hmm. And the river lord. Or oh, yes, of course. <laughs> you, you all are a lot of fun. See, I told you. I told nightmare you. that's not a nightmare. Azalea's losing it just a tad. <laughs> so, like, the end of her hand to her elbow transforms into her true form and then transforms back as she's like, no, no, nope, not yet. Not watches yet. it uncurls into various like, un limbs. Yeah. Of, what does it look um, like? It so, uh, here, I'll send, the, I'll send the picture of, like, what it, what it, like the transformation of it looks like and then what the what the final kind of end of it looks like but it's just like her elbow down on her arm uh if i can find where my discord is like these purpley dark vines twisting and moving almost like how tree branches would grow around each other except it's not plant it's organic yeah yeah okay. um okay. it looks like i found this the is... image in the void scourge chat so i can just send it to our to our messages I got it. I'm just going to resend it in the Void Scourge chat bet. so the chat can also see what I'm talking about. Yay! Um, yay! Get the chat involved. It'll also be traumatized. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm just now seeing chat. Uh, face only a mother and Faf would love. That's horrific. <laughs> mother must be blind. Oddly beautiful. And I thought I was the oddball. <laughs> Once again, no thank you very much. <laughs> These yeah, are great. Just like, just, it like, looks like her arm is kind of unwinding until it gets to her elbow, and then it just kind of rewinds back up again. Mm. <laughs> so you all get the attention of a lot of very powerful people, if I'm understanding things correctly. And yes. you hit really hard. Why is it? so. Wakes up and goes, hey, what did I miss? What are we doing? What happened? Hey, oh. Weezy, nothing much. Uh, nightmare invasion, it's fine. We solved it, though. 
Okay, reaches for another tankard. <laughs> <laughs> the Fey play. Very used to things being solved. <laughs> Just like Eric. The Fey know how to party. <laughs> mm -hmm. well, so, uh, with all that being said, Lottery, mm -hmm. what are your thoughts on joining the crew? And are you more open to answering questions? Questions. Questions are fun. They are. Questions are fun. If I will answer questions, if you answer mine. This is called communication, after all. Yeah, to the best of I my ability. And Depends the on best... the question. Yeah. You can ask me all kinds of questions. I got no secrets. <laughs> you are an open book, and it is picture book uh hey <laughs> <Little puppet. laughs> i like her See. they are wonderful they are why and look straight at you clear loud why aren't you captain again oh no right? <laughs> we all have this question <laughs> <laughs> Listen, though, so it is very charming and very sweet to be captain, at least in name alone. I don't like being the one that has to give the plans and the orders. I just like to hit things. Hitting and... things. He's better yeah. at multitasking. Wonderful. Hey! All right. <laughs> <laughs> There's literally two of me. <laughs> Lottery will turn to Nova and be like, I would be happy to join your crew, Captain Nova Way. Questions to be decided, but it seems like you guys get the attention of very powerful people, and that is exactly what I want to be in. To answer maybe one of your questions, why I'm doing this and why I need a ride or a crew or someone to party up with, as some people define it as, I need to get the attention of somebody. Someone who hasn't looked my way in a while. And if we make a big enough boom and hit something hard enough, maybe she'll look this way. This is... Now forgive me for prying. I respect that this may be a sore spot, but what level of attention do you want us to attract? Is it godly? Are we killing a god or enticing one? Maybe both if we're lucky. Ah. Revenge or... <laughs> uh... No, I wouldn't say revenge. Revenge has a feeling that one was wronged. I was just left. I mean, after all, what's a patron supposed to do except just, like, shove off her minions and let them go? Of course not, but... Anyway. <clears throat> Let's get the attention of a goddess. Probably do more than that. If she has a piece of my ship, I'm fucking killing her. Um, Azalea. You see, you see, lottery just kind of hold that thought of just like that comment. Just he's not very good at hiding, so you can kind of see it. it's just a flash. It's like <laughs> the tightness of the face. Yeah, just like, <laughs> Nova's not good at paying attention. From the so shoulders, he doesn't see it. <laughs> always watch the shoulders. Casting. The shoulders will always tell you everything. They. They hunch. <laughs> Unova says, Well, I am after the pieces of the Void Scourge, my old ship. Nerium is doing the same with me. She is my first mate and has been for the last uh, forever. Uh, Azalea is... We don't really know. <laughs> third, <I'm>, mate. <laughs> third mate. Third <laughs> mate. Second mate. <laughs> She, I was like, wait, who'd be second? She second got mate. through the questions, period, because she had a nasty little thing on her shoulder, but she's still here after the nasty little thing on her shoulder's gone. So now I'm reminded, Azalea, what are you after? I'm running a bit of an errand. Looks at Nova. Is that <laughs> errand me? <laughs> <laughs> And that's where we end. What? <laughs> Am I a parcel? And are you UPS? <laughs> Fuck is UPS? I'll explain later. <laughs> Oops. So it seems like you all have secrets amongst each other then. <laughs> well, not amongst me and Miriam. She knows more about me than I would like her to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you... <laughs> 
Uh, Once, never again. Hey. <laughs> oh, I, it, oh. It's on the table? <laughs> Listen, just because you weren't up to snuff that time. Is uh, <laughs> oh, man. I, Lottery <laughs> looks at Sola Toss. He just up goes... <laughs> We are talking about this later, Miriam. I will anyway. write down everything I'm a, I see. I'm going to use this opportunity of distraction to take a step physically backwards and to slowly melt into a, uh, into a like, cat on the ground. <laughs> so, you know, we're not asking questions today. It's not question time. <laughs> Miriam and Nova find themselves distracted with their usual banter. But Solatos <laughs> does kind of keep himself always facing Azalea at least somewhat. One foot towards Azalea at all times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you know what we need to do? Get in the river. We're gross. All right, come on. <laughs> <laughs> the river of fates. Uh, the This river allows you to change out any feats um, you might need to, uh, shift around, um, and you watch as he's just, like, deep under the water, holding onto a rock, letting himself be just kind of rinsed, washed clean, uh, which is causing, like, a wave <laughs> in the river. You also see, uh, multiple shattered pieces of floating mirror, a huge mirror, um, kind of just orbiting about the city and the sky. And it looks like they were weaponized, because they're covered in blood. <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. Seems like an effective defense mechanism. If there is any lottery, will also dive floor. into the water. <laughs> okay. You uh, may change any of your feats, uh, exchange them for others if need be. Um, this is the place where you need where you can do that in the future as well. Um, when I got with, sentinel. Yeah, with uh, with Solitas's good graces, of course. Yeah. Lottery, after seeing the party and do what they do, he's. He has some ideas of ways to change his faith a little bit to maybe potentially help theirs. So okay. we'll fix a few things. Anybody else? Nova's, Nova's going to sidle up to, to Lottery and be like, I know it's been a bit of a <laughs> abrasive start, but I do want to say anybody who's willing to tussle with the likes of uh, what we're after is welcome aboard the ship. Then my crew. Oh, so. I appreciate that, Captain. That seems rather honest of you and rather forthright. Well, it's a uh, it's a rarity, so I, I figured I'd use it while I'm feeling uh, brave. Mm, I see, I see, I see. Nirium, well. Lottery, and Nova. Don't notice. Uh, Solatos, shake himself dry and walk back inside. And finds Azalea. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Azalea, you are doing your best to be nondescript. Mm -hmm. And for an 18-foot tall barrel of a man, um, he can be quite stealthy. And suddenly he is Light next <laughs> to you. And, he, and he's crouched <laughs> down. <clears throat> I do not lie. And I make no exaggeration when I say if you hurt my friends, I will not consider you one of mine. But until you break said trust, you may continue to eat at my table and sleep by mine fire. You see his violet, soft pink eyes that are all one note turned to a slight midnight blue. This is the this is this is one of those moments where she, whilst in animal form, is going to talk, so so that she can communicate with this man because it feels far less cinematic to suddenly be person again. Uh, um, she's gonna say, uh, "I do not lie when I say I have no intention of hurting them." Good. Ruffle. <laughs> <laughs> and he stands up and goes, oh, big stretch. He, so Azalea hisses, 
and Melly's gonna start like like playfully batting the back of his ankle. <laughs> No! <laughs> you had that intrusive thought too. <laughs> <laughs> and he puts it back down, and he walks away, and begins <laughs> it begins ordering the reconstruction of his feast hall and and looking after the his people. And I think that's where we're gonna call it for the night, gang. <laughs> but. Chat, thank you for being here. I am Sir Pfeffers, the humble dungeon master of the Longshot Table, um, and a couple of announcements, and we're going to be doing a raid, so please don't go anywhere just yet. It helps us a ton, uh, and it especially helps the people that we raid. Um, I'm going to Gen Con, and I, through the Crit Awards, big ups to uh, Ivy, aka Game Raider Girl, will be running a game panel. I, I don't know the actual terminology, but I'm going to be running a game uh, Friday midday uh, in one of the uh, uh, in one of the the uh, main main slots, uh, one of the main rooms. I'm very very excited and frankly honored. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Um, we don't have the tickets figured out just yet, but I'm going to make sure it's not too expensive. I don't want, I, don't, I want people to show up. You know what I mean? I don't want people to be turned by a price point. Um, and, uh, I'd love to see you all there. Um, just say hi and vibe and, 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 you know, I, I, I think I give great hugs if people are comfortable with that. And I'm more than happy to, more than happy to, to, to meet all of you and hang out with you guys. Um, the Terraform book, that's our Tuesday campaign, um, is going to be, it, we're currently, me and Ben Brainerd are putting our heads together to make it into a book template, uh, a, a, a world setting book. Um, and we've got a couple of custom races that we're cooking up and a couple of interesting feats. Uh, Duskborn might be in there. We're going to find out. Um, very excited. Um, all pertaining to gin and the like, which is an interesting thing, uh, especially for Quincy and Lottery uh, Faust, because there's going to be some interconnections there as well. Um very excited uh and finally we have three weekly streamed campaigns tuesdays thursdays and saturdays um with rock stars just absolute amazing people uh do come in and join us for those future endeavors and if you want to get more content we have four years of of <laughs> of edited campaigns up on the youtube called jake and feffers um, and, uh, and of course, if you would like to join our community, you can head over to the discord. We are as chaotic as we are wholesome. You've been warned. Uh, let me throw <laughs> it around the group. Let's start with the Quincy. Oh my gosh. That was so fun. Thanks for having me. I'm excited for what we happen next. Uh, yeah. my name is Quincy of Quincy's Tavern, uh, here on Twitch, Instagram, TikTok, uh, X, Twitter, uh, and Facebook as well. Um, I do a bunch of random other things and I have a cookbook coming out. I will also be at Gen Con, uh, if maybe not a part of a couple panels, it may be to be determined possibly in the future, but I will be there to, uh, hang out and enjoy the good vibes and hand out ribbon badges and all that good stuff mm -hmm. uh but thank you for having me i'm excited to see where lottery faust goes and with this adventure of this really eccentric crew <laughs> it's a good word honestly it's i will toss accurate. it down to fish hey yo i'm fish you can find me in all the places as as at, as at fish finley um i draw i play games i saying it's a fun it does time. awesome art go check it out I'm also on the board for the Crit Awards. So, Yay! Like, that Yay! is really cool. I will also be going to Gen Con. So like, you know, come check us out there. Um, I also sell prints. These, this is a whole list of things that I keep forgetting that I, I do now. Uh, I sell prints. <laughs> check out my, 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 my link tree to find the link to that. But they're all very cool. Um, I Wow, this seat, so hot. Cool. <laughs> 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 well, we'll see. We'll see how things go next time for Azalea. <laughs> Things are, things are getting dicey. <laughs> uh, yeah, offbeat. What up? My name is Offbeat Outlaw. You can find me on YouTube and TikTok under the exact same name. I have been Nova Wake, who is so excited to have a new person in his crew because beside his prickly exterior, he likes growing his crew. Uh, <laughs> Uh, he, uh, you can find me on YouTube and TikTok under those names. I make D&D &D builds. 
Um, I've made 17 total builds, and honestly, I, I, that sounds like a smaller number, but I think that's all I can really do. I don't really <laughs> have thought of so long and hard to think, <laughs> how do I make something new and unique? And it's like, that's just another paladin. And I'm like, oh, right. Um, <laughs> But I also have been, uh, I stream on Twitch and I do Nuzl I'm doing a Baldur's Gate 3 Nuzlocke. A Nuzlocke is uh, permadeath rules. So if one of my party members die, they're dead for good. Will is currently dead and I'm so, I'm so sad for Will. Why do you have to die so, he, he, <laughs> he died to a 1 in, one in 160,000 chance. Not Will, take <laughs> Gale instead. <laughs> act, don't take Gale until act two though, because he insta ends the run. No, <laughs> don't use Gale until act two. Uh, that is me. Passing it to Lexi. Hello, hello. I am Smallbird Lexi. They pronouns. You can find me at Smallbird Lex and Smallbird Art. I do art, TTRPG, and streaming. You can see me here on Saturdays. You can see me at Phoenix Milwaukee on Wednesdays playing a wizard. The fuck? <laughs> but yeah, all the art is amazing. <laughs> you don't even do it to me without me doing it to you. Fight me. <laughs> yeah, huh? Do as I say, not as I do. God damn it. <laughs> But yes, come check me out. Come hang out with me. I will also be probably going to Gen Con. I think Gen Con is like the guaranteed convention I want to go to every year. If I can, Same. if funds allow it, I want it to be definitely. If I can only go to one convention, Gen Con will be that convention. Most of my friends go to Gen Con when it comes to the conventions throughout the year. It is the one time I can really see so many of my friends at once. So Gen Con, I will be there. Uh, chances are I'll be dragging off beat with me. Uh, so, <laughs> I mean, we have all of us going to Gen Con. We could do it in person game. That all could that be Saturday. Wild. That could be cool. I'm just saying. But, anyways, let's pass it over to our phenomenal DM. Oh, that's me. We're going to go vibe over <laughs> with Metro Mike, a fantastic uh, uh, friend and ally. Um, good being all. Uh, give him some love. Flash the pine cones on the way in. And hey, give him a follow. Content's fantastic. All right. Have a good night, everybody. Have a fantastic rest of your weekend. Everyone say bye obnoxiously for me, pretty please. Bye. Bye. Uh, <laughs> bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> bye.